It is Swag Tuesday, people. It is. It is. Two melatonin gummies. Asleep by 10. Wake up at 12. Wake up at 3. It's not my choice. Wake up for good at 5.30. Great bowel movement. Hop on the Peloton. 90-minute scenic ride through Lake Constance, Germany. 90-minute personal best. 220 watts. Decent sleep. Bagel sandwich for breakfast. Two slices of cheese. A little deli turkey. Cucumbers, tomatoes, mustard. And of course, a 9.09 a.m. Coke Zero. And diesel jeans. We're so back. And the buffet for dinner. If you're wearing jeans to sit down on a stream, you're insane. Um, we'll do this again. Jeans are some of the most comfortable pants ever invented. And if you can't handle a desk job wearing pants that have a fly and a button, then your stock is weak and you will not survive the upcoming winter. I'm not saying you got to board an airplane wearing a tuxedo. That's that those people are insane. But come on, man. Jeans? Jeans? You're suffering for no reason? Jeans are comfortable, bro. There's no suffering being done. They got no give? You're, you're, you're wearing a size too small, brother. You got to go up. It's not high school anymore. You might have to go to a 34. I know you go to the store. You're like, ah, just give me the 32s, but maybe it's time. You could even go a size up and then use a belt, man. The order goes sweatpants, shorts, dress pants, jeans. Um, well, I disagree. Shorts are more comfortable than sweatpants. Especially, what's weird is that norm, for pants, the looser a pant, the more comfortable it is. But for shorts, the tighter a short, the more comfortable it is. Anybody ever talk about this little counterintuitive phenomenon? I like my high seam shorts the same way I like my t-shirt. Like, I want the cuffs to be fucking tight to the thighs, bro. Dan Ariely wrote a book about it. Oh, so you're telling me that it's fabricated? <laughs> you're telling me it's academically fraudulent? And the, um, the entire field of behavioral economics is now specious as a result of these revelations? Still an interesting book, though. Predictably irrational. Even if it is a fiction book. Hey, people read fiction all the time. Nineteen eighty-seven, five hundred eighty-four million views. So it's every song ever made. Huh. Two, one, two, three, go. Okay, I, I, I need more. That's just, it's, it's a little too basic. I like it. I like it. I like a good bass. Ooh. Oh, it's Welcome to the Jungle. It's Welcome to the Jungle. Yeah. Dude, that is a part two. That's definitely a part two. It's like, it is a part two, yeah. K.K. Slider puts in the work. Greetings to the rainforest. What the fuck? Hey, man, anything you want, 
but you better not take it from me. Oh, he's kind of slow simmering on it. He's got that stuff in the pressure cooker. It does sound like a Mario jump in there, doesn't it? <laughs> Guns N' Roses is so funny to me. I, there's people who absolutely hate them. I'm not like that. I think they've got like six or seven slappers. But then there's people who it feels like they're locked in like a, a time capsule. And there's like the, it's the only band they listen to. And I'm like, brother, they got three total albums. And then Axl Rose disappeared for 32 years and got replaced by a body double. Like, what do you, you gotta, you gotta expand your horizons a little bit, man. I'm a complete Guns N' Roses hater. They, they have a few good songs, bro. Sweet Child of Mine is a good song. Welcome to the Jungle is a good song. Paradise City is a good song. Patience is a good song. November Rain, maybe a little over dramatic, but I probably wouldn't hit skip on it. Night Train? I feel like Night Trains, I, I dare not sing Night Train because I'm pretty sure the whole thing takes place in like a, like a frequency that only a dog can hear. You could be mine, I feel like, is okay. What's the one that goes, Oh, when I think about you, I want our home. Oh, when I think about you, oh, I love you, girl. He says something like that. That's what I like about you. That's, that shit is by the Rembrandts, bro. That's a Sam Yo classic right there. Anyway. What the fuck, man? I mean, they're not bad, but they're kind of like the Who or Led Zeppelin is weird when you're still listening to them all the time. You leave fucking Roger Daltrey, John Entwistle, Keith Moon, and fucking Pete Townsend out your damn mouth. Guns N' Roses, listen, they made some, some good rock music, but you're going to put it up there with, with the album Who's Next from 1972? What does Guns N' Roses have that, that strikes the same chord within your soul as fucking Baba O'Reilly or something that speaks about the nature of politics like won't get fooled again? I think about that shit all the time. I was walking through Vancouver. We used to have uh, public e-bikes that you could rent. From, they were sponsored by a cable company called Shaw. Shaw got bought by a cable company called Rogers. They've repainted all the Shaw bikes red and changed the logo to Rogers. Meet the new boss, brother. Same as the old boss. All right, let's get some let's get some dulls going here before checkpoint league. So true or whatever. <laughs> when you when you want the streamer to just move on. Oh man. <clears throat> Slash marker, flashbang out, the dulls. Congratulations to all the Pokemon fans. This is as good as it ever gets. They announced a new one today that will be coming out soon. Savor it. I know what you're going to say. No, no, no. We're hyped because this one's going to be good. I wish I could believe that. I wish it may. I would love to be wrong. Don't get me wrong. Okay. I love more good games and more happy fans is a net positive for the world. But this is, it's, I've just been down this road before. It's the Sonic cycle, man. The last one wasn't that good. This one, we're going to fix all the problems. Look, it's got procedurally generated worlds. It's got, it looks like a freaking pizza. And then like, when it, it's going to be like a trailer is going to drop. People are going to be stoked. Then there's going to be gameplay footage and people are going to be like, what the fuck? It looks like an iPhone game. Then when it comes out for like two days, people are going to be like, they did it. Game Freak, they did it. And then on the third day, people are going to be like, I hate it. I'm just, it's just the way it goes, man. It's just the way it goes. At least the people that I follow on social media. <clears throat> but anyway, today's puzzle. <laughs> Bug Fairy Monotype. Galar. 
purple haze, galar, galar, galar. You know what I'm talking about? Water, uh, I'm screwed. I don't know. Th these are really hard. Flying fairy is togekiss. It's a fairy with wings. That's a given. I could get that any day of the week. Why does togekiss look like a cargo plane from the American Air Force? Bug flying is all bugs. I'm going to say anorith. Not flying. Maybe those are legs. Flying monotype. That's a gimme, bro. <laughs> it's not. Pidgey ot. Because isn't Pidgey like, oh, maybe there's a normal duo type in there. Water monotype. You ever hear of a little lad by the name of Tentacool? You ever hear of a little, okay, maybe that's water poison then. You ever hear of a little lad by the name of motherfucking Squirtle, bro? I bet you have. And then Galar. Galar is um, Winston Churchill Pokemon. Weezing Galar. Any chance this little bro here is just poison? Nope. Let me guess. He's flying. <laughs> flying monotype. How about Doduo? Do Not flying. Okay. How about Spiro? Not a monotype. Have I lost my mind? You haven't? They're all normal? How the fuck is a bird with two heads normal? There are very few flying monotypes. I'm just not going to get the other ones. Like, I don't, a bug flying, maybe? Scyther? Yes! Yes! That was deceptively hard. That was a stealth build. Rookie D, the most common flying monotype. Rookie D, everybody. Rookie D. And of course, the least common. Corvusquire. Why didn't I think of that? Corvusquire. Wimpod. The, AKA the Pokemon you catch once in Pokemon Go and then ignore it. You're like, I'd rather just spin stops. Enormous Terrian. Hmm, okay. I think he used to coach the Montreal Canadiens. Frozmoth. What are we doing here, guys? What are we doing? Al Creamy. I do love to see Al Creamy in the, uh, in the grid we do, people. Al Creamy. Plant-based Al Creamies. We used to make the Al Creamy with real milk. We did. And the farmers loved us, and we loved them. Now even the milk is plant-based, people. We rook our D, don't we, folks? We rook our D. It's not even Donald Trump anymore. I don't even know what it is. Um, okay, this is high fidelity. They don't have it in the database, which is criminal. Movies where there are records. Um, that thing you do. No, okay, all right. Well, why don't you just tell me what you're looking Ruby Sparks. Why not? I don't know. Welcome to Mississippi. It's not three billboards, because that's Missouri. Mississippi. Mississippi, 1970s. Am I crazy to think there's like an inherent vice sort of vibe to this? That's Mike Epps. And he's kind of rocking it. I gotta be. Is this what you guys are wearing when you say jeans are too uncomfortable? I'm not rocking like a four button high waisted Andrew here. I'm talking about like just some Levi's, bro. Maybe that's what. If you're wearing this, if you're wearing the pantaloons, I could see why maybe it gets tight in the waist when you sit down. Otherwise, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about, honestly. I'm in trouble, guys. Mike Epps, Keegan Michael Key, and Craig Robinson. <laughs> what is this? It was either nominated for Best Picture or it was made by uh, Judd Apatow and has a 7% on Rotten Tomatoes. I actually, 
I don't even, I can't even hazard a guess. Oh, it's Dolomite is my name. It was nominated for Best Picture. Okay. <laughs> what did I tell you? That last picture saved me. It wasn't? Yeah, but it was. In many ways, it was. It wasn't? Wasn't it, though, people? All right, my three favorite sports. Football, baseball, and college basketball. Drafted by New Orleans the same year Drew Brees joined the team, this Saints wide receiver had 900 receiving yards in eight of his first nine seasons. Who is Michael Crabtree? Literally just a guess. I have no idea. No concept. Colston. Okay, Colston. <laughs> Victor Martinez led the league in on-base percentage and finished second in MVP voting while playing for this American League Central team in 2014. The American League Central, of course, consists of team... No, 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 no. That's the National League somewhere else. American League Central. Am I crazy to think it could be the Detroit Tigers? Yes! Oh. oh. Geography. If you get a question about divisions in baseball, geography can help you sometimes. Although someone just told me that Houston plays in the National League West, which makes no sense. Has Bud C. League ever seen a map of the United States of America? They're literally like they're in the eastern half of the country. AL West, not NL West. Yeah, that's right. I'm NL West. This mid-major school, too low thinking we local, come on, we're mid-major, with an all-American guard was ranked number three in the nation in 2011, but had trouble after their lead rebounder, Brandon Davies, was suspended for the rest of the season. Yeah, how would I, what the hell is a mid-major? Wesleyan University. <laughs> George Mason University. What does mid-major mean? Like biology, yeah, you got me, but you're not telling lies. Non-major conference? I don't know what that means. RN is the symbol on the periodic table for this element with an atomic number of 86. <laughs> Can you imagine how embarrassing it is to get stumped by the Barstool Sports science question, man? <laughs> what is RN? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Ron rhodium. Nope. What is it, guys? It's radon? I thought radon was R. I thought that was just a, a, a flat R. Rhodium has no N? Yeah, well, lead has no P or B in it. I thought maybe there was some Latin chicanery involved, you know? It's rather 40. What the fuck is it, bro? I don't know. This is... Is Brendan Fraser's head. That's, like, basically a free space. I think that's... It's Josh Brolin? That's Josh Brolin. That's Josh Brolin. What's weird is that this looks like Kevin Costner, but it's not Kevin Costner. Orange Lava Burst. And Flash and Fruit Punch are popular flavors from what juice brand? Kool-Aid. <laughs> That's not juice. They're, they're telling me it's not juice. Orange Lava Burst and Flash and Fruit Punch. Snapple? It is not Snapple, people. It is High C. Who, or Hawaiian Punch. Who knew? Those are not juice. It's... It's like a syrup. It's a watered-down syrup. 
Originally gaining fame, fame as a rapper, this actor has played detective slash sergeant Odafin Finn Tutuola on the Law and Order franchise since 2000. It's iced tea, bro. The kids are calling it the Daily Dozen, even though there's only nine questions. They're so zooted on college basketball. You, you know the John Mulaney bit. John Krasinski directed A Quiet Place. Combining for one billion Spotify streams, this American rock band dropped two, 20, two top 20 hit songs in the early 2010s with Everybody Talks and Animal. It's Def Leppard. I have no idea. I actually could not tell you. An American rock band from the early 2010s that I don't know but I've heard of. Coming up next on 106.1 FM. Imagine dragons dipped in the chain smokers shit your pants oil. Greta Van Dolly Pardon. I don't know what it is. I just put some respect on a legend. That's a tough one today. Neon Trees. I, God is my witness. I've never heard of them. Have I heard the song? I don't know. But I've never heard of the band. Neon Trees. Yes, you have. Why does every motherfucker who graduated high school in 2016 think that like we share a culture? We absolutely do not. It's like my granddad being like, what's your favorite Conway Twitty song? I don't know. Fucking knock three times on the ceiling if you want me. I don't know any other ones, bro. You've heard the songs? You haven't lived in my shoes, brother. I don't think I've heard the songs. If you've been in a Hudson's Bay or listened to the indie station on the radio, you have. Okay, I'm 0 for 2 so far. If you've gone bowling since the year 2010, you've heard them? 0 for 3. Okay. Is there any place that people actually... Any, any thriving businesses where, uh, where they play their music? <laughs> are there any businesses that are not currently insolvent where they play them? No? Okay. Noted. It's in a Snapple commercial. Okay. I don't watch the National Basketball Association on TNT. So that puts us in a rough spot on that one. My middle school band played it. That's basically, thank you. I appreciate that. Because our ass was playing, you know, Concerning Hobbits by Howard Shore from the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Because it was 2003. You anchor on the culture in which you're in. It's like me asking my, my mom, like, what her favorite song off of In the Aeroplane Over the Sea is. First off, she doesn't know it. Secondly, if she did, it would be the title track. And it's fine. It's a little saccharine. It's a beautiful song. Me personally, I'd take something with maybe a little bit more brimstone in it, maybe like a ghost or something like that. But hey, Rex Mechanica, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Two-Headed Boy. A lot of people don't know it's actually about uh, Doduo. Which is crazy that they would write like a, a song about just a normal bird. But anyway, hey, thank you again, Rex Mechanica. Animal. Okay, so this is the category is Neon Trees songs. Uh, Goldfish Ritz Oyster. These are brands of snacking crackers. Animal. Yeah, he's a genius. This game will not give me mental illness. This game will not give me mental illness. My mental is too strong. Salmon. Pike. Mullet. And split. What are fish? We're not even one away? Am I crazy? You could split, straddle, tuck, and pike. What are types of dives? 
uh, type, types of vaults in gymnastic. <laughs> I don't know if I said a real sentence. Types of vault in gymnastic. Gymnastics positions, okay? Hmm. Now let's think about this. Hmm. Headband. Mullet. Corporate rope. Corporate rope, neon sign, headband sign, corporate concerns, things that stretch, things that are short in the front and long in the back, things that were popular in the 1980s, things you can wear, things you can tie, things you can catch. Things that are pink. Things that are <sighs> emblematic of the culture of the Pacific Northwest. Things you can hang. Things you can, you can hook. Things you can smoke. You can smoke a salmon, bro. You can smoke a rope, probably. Corporate, rate, band, head, mull, spa, spa, pan, sal, <laughs> mon, alm, change the third letter and it becomes corporate. Corporate, corporate, headband, yeah, there, yeah, headband, rope, Tell two consonants right in the middle, S salmon, salmon, silent letter. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think it's a silent letter. I'm pretty sure spandex, you say every letter. Neon, mullet, corporate, headband, rope, okay. Thing, words with two meanings. Rearrange the letters and you get landsman. <laughs> no, you don't. They will divide us. They will divide us. Shuffle me. As soon as I hit shuffle, you know you're in trouble. Rope. Things you can tie. Things you could... Things that make a circle. Things you wear when you're exercising. I feel like these have to go together. Like these are styles associated with aerobics. Corporate rope, word salmon. He's not washed. He's not washed. Corporate ladder, rope ladder, salmon ladder. That's fucking crazy. And I've been to Alaska twice in the last two years. Salmon ladder, you motherfucker. David Brooks, you're going to have to work a little harder than that to give me mental illness, okay? Salmon ladder. What is a word ladder? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Isn't it like something you find in the funny pages of the newspaper? A salmon ladder is actually a, something you attach a pull-up bar to. Wrong. It is a staircase that salmon use to get upstream. Mesomorph culture is not taking that word from the Pacific Northwest, okay? This is endomorph streaming. I don't get it. Listen, <laughs> we got it. I'm just decompressing. 
not in the present, past. Someone who fidgets, purses their lips, or stares without blinking, according to body language exp experts, liars. Wing it on stage, improv. Very cool in old lingo. Neato. The temperature at which water vapor condenses. That's the dew point. Yeah, I think we got a few amiss squares. Detailed proposal. That would be a plan. Wing it on stage. Add. Yeah, I know, bro. Add lib. Squammy do do To be fair, we did spend about 30 seconds still decompressing from the connections. So it wasn't really 124, but not a personal best, but you can't have a personal best every day. <laughs> Although I did on the bike this morning. What in God's green earth is Schmidt's awesome corn top rolls? What are these, bro? The hot dog buns? You ever think about, we were talking about it in the Peloton sub-community last night because someone in there said they make their own hot dogs. I posited something that is probably literally wrong but spiritually correct because my soul has the mandate of heaven. You can't home make a hot dog, in my opinion. If you home make a hot dog, it becomes a sausage even if the ingredients are exactly the same. So, uh, hot dogs can only come from a factory where a machine did the entire process where a machine separated the meat mechanically, spit it out into cylinders, and then chopped it. Like, a hot dog, to me, means that no flesh belonging to mankind touched the sausage at any point in the supply chain. <laughs> the first human flesh that touches a hot dog is my lips, mouth, and tongue when I eat it. Otherwise, it was robots from the slaughterhouse straight to the, the frozen food section or the uh, refrigerated food section. If you home make a hot dog, it has now become a sausage. Have some self-respect. That's a sausage. Don't, don't degrade yourself. You didn't home make hot dogs. You made, you know, an Austrian sausage known as a wiener. Because I know when I bite into that shit, it is not going to be dark pink mattress foam, okay? It's going to have distinct elements of meat and fat and like spices inside of it. It's not going to be like one uniform red like piece of styrofoam, okay? My dad home makes hot dogs. No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I'm sorry. The, the, the value proposition, back me up, D.L. Guiga. It doesn't exist. Get 12 hot dogs for like $2.99, okay? Unless your dad is famous, Nathan. I don't want to hear it. Bro is not out here getting a meat grinder and buying pig snouts and making his own hot dogs at home. It's just not good. Kielbasa? I could buy it, Okay. He's not, no one's like, oh, this hot dogs, I got to save money. You know what I'll do? Instead of buying a dollar 50 cent hot dog at Costco, why don't I buy a $400 meat grinder and a bunch of snouts and toenails down at the abattoir? It'll pay for itself in only 48 years. You lost your mind. My, I think that it's spiritually speaking, you can't home make a hot dog. You can only home make a sausage. 30 ounces. How many? This, is, this to me looks like a 12 pack of buns. Does that make sense? Three, like two and a half, three ounces of bun? I don't know what an ounce is. I know a fluid ounce, but these are solids, bro. So I don't think that applies. Am I insane to think that this is going to be like $4.99? Okay, it's even it's way cheaper than... I, I went as low as I thought I could. Oh my God, you can get... Stuff at Costco for $1.99? Sorry, for $2.49? This may actually, and I, I'm not trying to farm a bit, in sticker price alone, this may be the cheapest item you could get in Costco. Almost every 
item you buy in Costco is like at least ten ninety nine. Okay, okay, the hot dog. Sure, the hot dog and the pizza slice. But I'm talking about I'm talking about the stuff in the store. This will kill you though. It's probably better than the the contents of the actual hot dog bun that Costco has. Like it's a dollar fifty. We got to be realistic. I know that they've done a lot of work to make sure that they can offer it at a dollar fifty, but like they're not they're not sending their best flower. That's all I'm saying. That's crazy, man. What does that mean? Well, it means like you can't get a... You know, like they have a facility. They have labor. They have like the infrastructure, like the point of sale machines and stuff like that. They give you a cup with every single one. Like... There, I feel like there are some people out there that are, are like a hot dog and a drink should cost a dollar fifty, and I hate to be this guy, but you are living in a fantasy land. They should not cost a dollar fifty. The fact that they do is a a miracle, but b something that should give you pause every time you eat it because something's they're they're cutting something out of it <laughs> or putting something in in order to make it that cheap. It's a lost leader. Okay, so what are the unit costs? Fucking like a buck seventy-five. That's even worse, man. Lost leaders exist. Me when I've watched one video essay, can it, kid? I'm an executive member. I take a look at the business statement every year. Okay, we're not in the same ballpark here. Stick to stuff you know. Posting bat chest emojis under the new Pokemon announcement trailer. Such a backhanded comment. Fucking 22-year-old in Econ 101 in class. Um, lost leaders exist, you know. Why don't you just say, why don't you write it respectfully? You're out here eroding the social contract between streamer and viewer for what? At least on Twitter Blue, they're getting paid four cents an hour. You're doing it for nothing? Just for cheap thrills? Crazy. Yet D.L. Guiga gets blown for saying that stuff. Excuse me, he does not get blown. He gets complimented. And the fact that you think that they're the same thing, maybe that's why men don't get complimented enough. <laughs> Obviously, it means too much to us. Secondarily, D.L. Guiga would say stuff like, actually, a lot of people don't know this, but Costco tends to offer the hot dogs as a perk of being a member, and it gets you into the store more often. This is known as a lost leader. The people who watch a nine-hour video essay are like, he hasn't seen the video essay. I'm busy making a video essay. It's called How to Be Bad at Balatro. One 30-minute part comes out every single day. Number of episodes, indeterminate. In the downtown Costco, you don't need a membership. That's true. That's one of the reasons that I did not go to the food court in the downtown Vancouver Costco. You go to the Richmond Costco, you go to the Burnaby Costco, you order the hot dog, it's in your hands within five minutes. You go to the downtown Costco, especially if it's a Canucks home game happening within the next two to three hours, you're in that Costco lineup for like 40 minutes to get a buck 50 hot dog. You're paying with your time. That's fine. I'm just saying at that point, I'd rather... I don't know if it's still there, but they're like right next to the Costco. There's a cool like Korean Mexican fusion place. You can get like a bulgogi arena or, or a bulgogi burrito or something like that. Yeah, I don't think they should have brought the green men back. I, I, I could have lived my life without seeing the outline of the green men's penises. They should at least give them like a... I don't know how you do it, like some, some kind of tape or something like that. To <laughs> I didn't need to see that. Canada. It's, I'm Vancouver Canucks posting, sorry. 3,000 kilometers from Canada. Okay, how about a country by the name of Guatemala? It's closer. 
How about a little country by the name of Antigua? Hold the Barbuda. Oh, uh, use the Barbuda. How about Suriname? That's not even where I thought that was. How about Haiti? Oh, how about... This is going to be a problem. How about Wedge and Antilles? No, that's not what I meant. Um, Bermuda, which is... Uh, no, I did not mean Germany. How about... Uh, that's in the Indian Ocean. How about um, Barbados? Trinidad and or Tobago. That's colder. It's crazy. No disrespect. It's crazy that you're playing in CONCACAF. Really, bro? Is there, has there ever been a luckier country than Trinidad and Tobago? Like, they're literally, like, they could swim to Con Mabel, but they're playing in CONCACAF. Instead of going up against Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, they get to play against fucking Canada in World Cup qualifying? Come on, man. Come on. They are Con Mabel now? Really? When I was a kid, they were CONCACAF. It was always like U.S. and Mexico guaranteed qualifiers, and then sometimes it would be like Trinidad and Tobago. No, they aren't. So why did they just go to chat and tell lies, bro? See, you were, we're sympathizing. We're on the same page here. What's the one? You know, the... Um, it's Dutch. <laughs> Cur Curacao. Like Curacao. I make mad films. Okay, I don't... Okay, I don't make films. But if I... How does one spell it? It's a territory. Okay. Wolfenstein, enemy territory. You ever think about that? I actually... I don't know. Because I, like, I'm not... My gnome, it's not Jamaica. Jamaica's the big boy. And then there's like Cuba... And then I'm assuming that, I mean, this is the Dominican Republic. What about Dominica? The non dominican Oh, thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. Oh. <laughs> that was big. <clears throat> that was, oh my God, we got so many geography-based games left to go. This feels like a country that, I'm going to get it wrong and everybody's going to laugh at me. Because <laughs> it's either Saudi Arabia or <laughs> South Africa or, or India. I think... Brother, this is South Africa. Oh, no. Saudi Arabia. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no, that's way worse. I have no idea, man. Shit looks like a like a court jester. Oh, oh, oh uh, 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 um, no, that doesn't make any sense. Is this, is this, it's not Egypt, bro. <laughs> it's not Egypt. Come on. Where's the Mediterranean, bro? This is the Central African Republic. I don't know. This is now, we're, we're flying blind, boys. It's probably Rwanda. <sighs> Tanzania? Zimbabwe, Burundi. You, if you knew that was Burundi, that took all the uh, possible drama out of that because you knew I was not getting that. <laughs> you knew there was no shot that Burundi was gonna be one of the first like four southeastern African nations I was gonna think of. There's no chance. It's okay. Take me to something I understand. 
the weekend of October 17th, 2017, where Lionsgate was pogging off. So I'm going to assume that I'm just, just nuts on the table. Happy death day, one. It's Halloween, bro. You got to run it. And then I'm going nuts on the table. I'm thinking it's like the saw, like saw nine. <laughs> saw eight. Is jigsaw? Sure. Try me. <laughs> he didn't even expand the boxes, bro. Okay, let's see what else we got cooking up. $80 million Warner Brother film starring Ryan Gosling. $80 milli Warner Brothers. Let's, let's simmer that in the hopper for a minute. October 2017... It could be La La Land. You know what? It's worth five points. It's a science fiction drama. It's Firstman. I should have known. <gasps> it's not Firstman. Okay, Simmer it, Simmer it. That, that stings. Lionsgate, comedy horror. Starring Tyler Perry. This is Boo. I'm going to say it's Boo 2, a Medea Halloween. <laughs> it's a little early for, for Boo, or a little late for Boo, I should say. Medea and the gang encounter monsters, goblins, and boogeymen at a haunted campground. They crushed it, man. How is a Neil Armstrong biopic science fiction? You see that tweet I made where I was replying to Mag Resta? They were like Michael Collins in the Lunar Command module watching Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon. I replied and said, Michael Collins jerking off in the Lunar Command module. And when NASA asked him what's up with his heart rate, he says he's scared. Great tweet. I thought it was good. And you know what? It feels nice to not have to like tweet that and then like quote tweet it and send it to a broad audience to just fucking in a reply to just go, here you go. You don't need to spotlight it or something like that. Just send it out into the world. Let the communications channel, uh, channels do what they're supposed to do. That's what they're designed for, bro. Here go two more for y'all. Exactly. Warner Brothers. Didn't have great legs. Gerard Butler. Action science fiction thriller? That's a Geostorm, my dude. <laughs> Some things were never meant to be controlled. It becomes a race against the clock to uncover the real threat before a worldwide wipes out everything and everyone along with it. This movie fucking played in North Macedonia, bro. $33 million domestic, $221 million worldwide. What country loved Geostorm that much? That's fucking crazy, dude. It's, it's pure trash. <laughs> oh, man. Warner Brothers, Ryan Goss. Why, why don't I know this, man? It made it probably made $100 million at the box office. It stars one of the, the biggest actors of my generation in the genre that I know. The key to the future is finally unearthed. Denny Villeneuve. Am I an insane person? <laughs> Dune, Dune 2, Arrival, Enemy, Incendies, Nuts, Prisoners, what did he make? What did he make in between? What, what's the one movie I'm missing, bro? Oh, God. It's Blade Runner 20. Of course, it's Blade Runner 2049. Bro got Jigsaw and Happy Death Day. 
without even looking at the info and then couldn't remember Blade Runner 2049? <laughs> no shot. It was still 92nd percent. I just wish it had the same cultural footprint as something like, uh, you know, Boo 2, a Medea Halloween. It is a gray school. Do you know what's fucked up too? I've only seen Blade Runner out of these. And I think I saw half of Happy Death Day on TV. This is a very rare situation of only not remembering the movie I saw. And you're going to be like, oh, you must not have liked it. No, I fucking loved it. When I was watching it, I was like, this is one of the best movies I've, I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> I'm working my way through Blade Runner right now so I can watch 2049. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm working my way through it. Shit is not in search of lost time. It's like a two hour and four minute long movie. I'm working my way through it. Like, what are you talking about? I watch it at the gym. You're going you're gonna to make me say some shit I regret, bro. Good for you, by the way, but also, come on. Working my way through it. Don't you do that? No, my ass was doing a 90-minute beta band ride today. In a meet me by the inside. Last night I dreamt somebody fell asleep between my knees. Stand a gunner, gunner, dinner, and my summer, and my dumb, she said to me, she said to me, you know what I'm talking about? You think I'm just a dry the rain head? Come on, buddy. What the hell is Push? Except for Sapphire, based on the novel Push by Precious, based on the novel Push. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love Push. I don't know what Push is, man. It's a pretty good song. Am I thinking of a real song? What am I? Push. Starring Chris Evans, Dakota Fanning, Camilla Bell, Jiman Hunsu, Cliff... It's a star-studded cast, bro. It's even got um, Modoc in it. I don't know why I'm still scrolling. Push. Precious. Based on the knob. Where am, I, where am I trying to go? A Quiet Place. John Krasinski. Okay, so you go Corey Stoll, Modoc. Connect that shit to Doctor Strange. All of a sudden, you're at John Krasinski from Doctor Strange in the Mountains of Madness. We could tell, let's, let's take a different path here. Let's take a different path. Me personally, if we're talking about me, Ah, you go Dakota Fanning, War of, the, War of the Worlds, Tom Cruise, Edge of Tomorrow, Emily Blunt, A Quiet Place. Dakota Fanning, War of the Worlds, Tom Cruise, Edge of Tomorrow, Emily Blunt, A Quiet Place. Pretty good! Do it three instead of two, but pretty good. Emily Blunt, A Quiet Place Part 2, Jiman Hunsu. Well, okay, listen, I would have seen A Quiet Place Part 2. Maybe you forgot there was a global pandemic that happened right when it was supposed to come out. So honestly, it's kind of problematic that you would even suggest that as a link. You're incentivizing bad behavior. Post hoc. I guess I'll just have to be content that I did my part. It still came out. I wasn't going to go see that shit, though. Ever tell you, I, I think I, the answer is yes, because I've streamed for a long time. A Quiet Place, the first one, might have been where Reddit jumped the shark for me. And it probably should have happened like five years early, earlier than that. But reading the like reaction thread for A Quiet Place, and people were like, whoa, great movie. It's just annoying that the movie is supposed to be quiet, but... Um, Everybody in my theater was eating popcorn. And I'm like, yeah, bro, you're at the movie theater, you fucking idiot, bro. That's the, it's a popcorn restaurant. Like, you recognize that you're not watching, like, uh, an unblemished piece of art, you know? This is like a, it's an entertaining science fiction slash horror movie. <laughs> it's like, how, oh, it ruined the decorum of A Quiet Place. It's not serious, bro. Eat a snack, watch your, watch your movie, drive home, go to work in the morning. It's not that big of a deal. You're the art arbiter now? Always have been, bro. Always have been.
guess the game. Now, I, as much as I hate to say it, <clears throat> the guy who was pissed off at the toddler for ruining Spider-Verse for him, that guy has a point. Now, I think that most adults would probably just be like, uh, we go again. You know, it sucks, but you can't control other people. He was like, this has ruined my life. But the toddler shouldn't have been at 11 p.m. showing a Spider-Verse. It shouldn't have been a Spider-Verse at all. Chivalrous 2. No. Metacritic score of 88%. Caesar's Total War. Rome, Total, Medieval, Total War. Rome, you know what, buddy? Total War. Those to me, though, they look, I'm just saying they look like the tents that Caesar would have used in the Gallic campaign. Tell me I'm wrong, okay? It is not Rome, Total War. Originally on the PC. Stronghold. Legends. It's The Witcher, bro. That's The Witcher 3. That's the tent of Jean de Carouge. It's The Witcher 2. Assassins of Kings, of course. <laughs> They gotta bring graphics back. I bet I could run this shit at like 8,000 frames per second. There actually is a Witcher 2? Yeah, it's a prequel to The Witcher 3. You ever think about how learning history is so fun because it's like a prequel to the world you're living in? Cool history teacher who turns his chair backwards. You know, in many ways, Richard Nixon was kind of like the Anakin Skywalker of the 20th century. Minus two. You know Anakin Skywalker is a bad guy, right? <laughs> I'm just checking. Not in the first movie. Okay, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of people weren't bad guys when they were nine years old. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say with that one. You mean the fourth movie? True. It, I, this guy's got some big shoes, man. This must be Sonic the Hedgehog. It's Crash Bandicoot! I should have done it's Crash Bandy, bro! Crash Warped. Crash Bandicoot Warped. Crash Bandicoot 2, The Wrath of Neocortex. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Yeah! <laughs> I feel bad for the youth of today in the sense that you can't appreciate how much dopamine started coursing through your veins the first time you played Crash Bandicoot, assuming that you played it sometime between like 1995 and 1998. It was actually like living in the future. Nowadays, it feels like the, the, because console generations are a lot blurrier. It's like the jump from like a PlayStation 4 to a PlayStation 5, you're like, yeah, this looks good. You imagine the jump from the Super Nintendo to the fucking PlayStation? You're going, beep, boop, 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 boop. then you boot up Crash Bandicoot and the dude's out there doing capoeira and jumping on bouncy stuff and hitting his head on a crate and little wumpa fruits are coming out. And then sometimes you stand on an elevator and it takes you to like a new level with a new side-scrolling perspective. It was like going multi-dimensional. 
It was the first time humanity became a class one species, intergalactically speaking. Thoughts on the PS5 being at the end of its lifespan? I don't have thoughts on the gaming industry. I'm, I'm one of those weird gamers who likes games but doesn't really have an interest in the gaming industry. It seems like most gamers hate games, but they love to talk about the industry. I guess I'm just a contrarian like that. I have no thoughts. My head is empty. It is simply a dopamine basin. This is not even a picture. This is green hell. Listen, I type what I see. That's a frog. That's Hypnotoad. This is Futurama. <laughs> it's high on life. Am I insane? That's Hypnotoad, bro. This is Don't Starve. This is Telltale Games. Bord Borderlands. This has... It reeks of Borderlands. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's Hearts of Iron? No, what's the, um, Tales of Iron. Yeah, nobody else is getting that, bro. That's a one of one for us exclusively. How'd you get it? I played it two or three times. It's a 2D Dark Souls. It was fun. It was a good game. It is not Hearts of Iron, though. It is Tales of Iron. Game they'll guess. Forza Horizons 3. No. Don't be stupid. 4. More recent than 2018. It's not a racing game. Maybe an action game or an open world game. First person or third person and it contains elements of single player, multiplayer co-op and, and or battle royale. But it's not in the Forza series. Okay, let's, let's take a very recent game. Helldivers 2. It is a third person game that did not come out this year. It's not a shooter. That's good tech. Let's, let's split the difference. How about a game that came out in 2021? Anybody? It's split. No, it's not a shooter, bro. It's probably, I don't think Splatoon is, 2 is on the PC either. What about a, a Microsoft Andrew? Like, what about Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice? Oh, <laughs> way older than I thought it was. Single player only, Unreal Engine, third person. If we could get the year, that would go crazy. Assassin's Creed would have come out on Assassin's Creed. Valhalla. Oh, a 2020 role-playing adventure game in the third person. 2020, huh? How about a little game by the name of the game that came out after Sekiro? Sekiro, because Elden Ring was 2021, right? That's 2019, silly. How about a one-time clue? Action fantasy. The World of Potter. Hogwarts Legacy. Hold the Manny. That came out last year, huh? That's not a, that's not a four-year-old game. It's an action fantasy. <laughs> action fantasy. In the third person with single-player elements. An action fantasy game. A little game by the name of Mountain Blade Warband. 
it's 20, I was thinking of Mountain Blade 2. Mario is a doctor. Mario is playing golf. The game is, ah, uh, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> I can't really argue with that one. Fair enough. Never heard of it? It's crazy how, I mean, this is the remake, obviously. I've said it a billion times. It's crazy how well Final Fantasy VII aged. When I was a adolescent to teenager, it was my favorite game, and it became the most cringeworthy answer for what's your favorite game of all time. It was like someone telling, no disrespect, this one's going to get me cooked, but it was like telling people that your favorite movie was Spider-Verse. Like, you're like, oh, another one, huh? Okay. So we got two groups of people. People who have Spider-Verse as their favorite movie and people who have any other movie ever made as their favorite movie. And it's the same size of each group. Like, each group is equal weighted. That being said, over time, Final Fantasy VII aged super well. The, like, Shinra Corporation being a bastion of all things wrong with, like... Uh, environmentally corrupting capitalist corporations, the eco-terrorism elements, Cloud being a baddie who baddies are in love with, like, it mirrors modern society, bro. Like, it, that society caught up with Final Fantasy VII, not the other way around. Outfits with 10 to 15 belts, very, very true, very true. What's wrong with liking Spider-Verse? I didn't say there's anything wrong with liking Spider-Verse. I think you're shadow boxing, brother. I just said there are a lot of you. <laughs> I get it. You ask people my age, what's their favorite movie? 35% of the population, The Dark Knight. 15% Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Probably count me amongst them. <laughs> Every generation's got its cross to bear. Lord of the Rings trilogy, Shawshank. Yeah, Fight Club. Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction kind of goes crazy, though. Hannibal? No, come, listen. Don't be ridiculous. Battleship Potemkin? Oh, shut up. It's not your favorite movie. Battleship Potemkin. Are you fucking Nikita Khrushchev? Battleship Potemkin is your favorite movie? Get a life. You should watch Spider-Verse. But the Spider-Verse people, you should probably watch Battleship Potemkin. Now, I'm not saying it's going to replace your favorite movie. I'm just saying you need a little, you need a dose of the opposite kind of uh, medicine. Independence Day. As long as we're putting every generation on trial, I feel like that's a Gen X favorite movie. I feel like the average 51-year-old guy is like, my favorite movie? Yeah, probably Independence Day. It's great to insult the demographic because there's none of them watching. They're all at work right now, keeping the society moving. <laughs> or fucking sending emails or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what it is people do, to be honest with you. You're also at work? That is crazy to think about sometimes. <clears throat> Two words. Two words unspoken. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. You know what I'm talking about, Natasha Bedingfield? Two words. It's a PG-13 sci-fi mystery thriller. I'm going to know it. It's liked by audiences and loved by critics. I'm going to know. It's Minority Report, bro. Roar! Ah! Ah! <laughs> They should have put Agent Smith in this movie. I was just thinking about this the other day. Can you imagine how hard it would have gone if Agent Smith showed up in the third act? Mr. Anderton. The main character of Minority Report is, is John Anderton. Anyway, that was nice. We meet again, Mr. Anderton. He does kind of have like a little... He's got like a little Donald Trump in the, in the cadence of... Uh, of Agent Smith. Imagine if Donald Trump was Agent Smith. I can't, I don't know if I could do it, man. I don't, I don't think I can do it, but imagine this is the promise of AI. It can do it for us. 
and we can all put our brains into the hot dog meat grinder together. <laughs> what if Donald Trump was in the Matrix, bro? <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, what are we doing here? Food guesser. New game daily. <clears throat> it came for free with the ingredients, bro. Eggplant, tomatoes, onion, garlic, capers, olives, pine nuts, vinegar, sugar, olive oil. This shit a damn ratatouille, bro. But a ratatouille is sliced, and this is diced. I gotta be honest with you, I have no idea what this is. Capers, olives, I'm thinking that we're, we're talking about something on the Mediterranean. Where the fuck is baba ganoush from? Am I insane to say, like, Lebanon? Turns out I'm crazy. Okay, that's a long way away. Maybe Italy? Yeah, that's caponata. To be honest with you, never heard of it. A Sicilian dish traditional in Italian cuisine. Oh, let me guess. It's a delicious and flavorful dish that has a rich history and tradition in Italian cuisine. Would I eat it? I would try it. I feel like uh, Italian cooking has earned like a, a get out of jail free card. I'll try anything Italian that isn't fermented in a cave by maggots and then turned into a cheese. But literally, like, it's almost all great. They really, they know what they're doing in the kitchen. No doubt about that. Big ups to Italy. Any other countries? Mexico, for sure. India. Thailand. United Kingdom. We go next. This is a dosa from... South Asia. Okay, listen, we're cooking. <laughs> Easy. Can you give Mama Liz a shout out? She knows the business inbox. I love Adosa. He's becoming too powerful. The streamers are getting too good at comedy and it's making the left nervous. I have to say, I, it's not fair though because I had... Uh, I had Indian food last night. I do want to say something, though, and I'm not trying to teach you how to run your business or your restaurants. What did you get? I got some butter chicken because I live with a three-year-old. Um, and then I got a lamb curry for my wife, although we all share it. And I normally get like a, uh, a chana masala, and here's where I screwed up. I said, I don't think anybody but me likes the chana masala. Uh, so I'm going to mix it up, and I said, let's get a vegetable korma. Maybe everybody will be into the, the more mixed vegetables and the nice, like a milder sauce. And then when it came, my wife was like, you know, last time was the first time I tried your chickpea curry, and I was looking forward to it. And I said, fumbled. I fumbled it. But I actually fumbled it a second way. Um, I didn't order rice. And that's on me, Okay. But I'm a big, like, systems guy. I think there's a systemic issue with ordering from Chinese and Indian restaurants. I'm not saying it should necessarily come with it, but when you send the prompt, instead of being like, hey, you ordered a curry, people who ordered curry also ordered pff, Coke Zero, other curries, it should say, hey, brother, just so you know, this is, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, but there's no rice in the order. Maybe you got your own basmati at home, but 98% of people who don't put rice in the order are making a mistake. Do you want to put rice in it? I would say, oh my God, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That, that would have helped us out. That was okay because we had rice on hand, but it was like short grain Korean style rice. At least it's fine, but it, it, it isn't thematically in keeping with the rest of the curry. I'm just saying that, especially because I ordered this Indian food, I've thrown off the yolk of the, of the apps. I ordered it from their website. You think they could have like a little prompt that's like, sorry, you, you might have made a mistake. Are you sure you don't want rice?
This is a mole. Is this a mole? It looks... It looks dark like a mole, but ground beef... I mean, this, this is not a chili. It could be a... Like a goulash or something. Brother, I'm saying Mexico. It's a bit of a crazy pick. Oh, that's chili? I must... Be, they must be cooking up weird chilies in Canada. Because this is not what any chili I've ever eaten looks like. I don't know where the picture is from. That looks more like a mole to me. What does it look like to you? Usually, maybe this is why um, Texans get annoyed with other chili recipes. The chilies I'm used to are much lighter red. Still, like, not like the color of an apple, but much lighter red and contain way more ingredients than just beef. Like, it would, the, the, the wet to dry ingredient ratio would be heavily tilted more towards dry versus the picture I'm looking at here. It looks good, don't get me wrong. Beans, corn, red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, jalapeno pepper, peppers dipped in Mama Liz's eat your ass oil, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Beloved dish with a rich history, so true. A rich history dating back over a century. <laughs> Laughs in Lichtensteinian. I'm just joking. My country confederated in 1867. So true. We got, we got lots more. Oh, you know, before we do spell check, because it's been pissing me off lately, which is funny, let's do a little movie grid. We're cooked. We're cooked, people. We are cooked. Who the fuck is Lily James? There's Lily James, there's Lily Collins, and then there's Emma Roberts, and I... Lily James is from Baby Driver. Baby Driver. Right. And she is also from one of the Cinderella films. And... So Zac Efron, listen, she could be in Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising, or Neighbors 1, or she could be in The Iron Claw, or she could be in a high school musical for all I know, or she could be in freaking Baywatch. I don't know the answer to that question, so we're going to wait a minute. Seth Rogen and Zac Efron, you got to go Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising on that one. Number one's probably going to be Neighbors, if I had to guess. Hey, do you see Lily James in this freaking... I don't see... I don't see Lily James, okay? I see uh, um, uh, Rose Byrne, Zac Efron, Chloe Grace Moretz. I think I see Beanie Feldstein. I think I see Beanie Feldstein back there. Seth Rogen, one word title. Ignore the. Is 50-50 one word. Released from 2000 to 2024. This is where we play a long shot or an American pickle. Let's go an American pickle. And then... It's actually insane how Seth Rogen is like the most from Vancouver that anybody in history has ever looked. No matter what he looks like, I'm like... Like, listen, right here, like... This bro's hanging out. It's tough to say. I'm going to have to say that he's in Yale Town, just chilling, having a brunch maybe. This dude is definitely like walking up and down Commercial Drive. There's no doubt about that. Seth Rogen, one word title. There's obviously the interview, but that's going to be a big one. I mean, am I, fuck, am I insane? 50-50 50, 50 with a slash in it, bro, is... That's one word, right? That's one word? What do you think about that? That's two words? It's, it's actually no words. Right? <laughs> Is it worth the risk? I'll play it. 
maybe, maybe super bad pulls some heat off of the interview. I can live with it. I'm sure he's got a few. Hugh Jackman, 2024, you take bad education. That's, that's a, a, a serious go-to for us. Hugh Jackman, one word title, ignore the, about a little movie called Australia. Hugh Jackman, Zac Efron. I can only assume that he was in The Greatest Showman because I have not seen it. Okay, <laughs> Zac Efron, Lily James. <sighs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a guess and just go The Iron Claw. It's got buzz. Maybe they picked it because of the buzz. Yeah! <laughs> oh, top 21%? I guess because there were a lot of hundreds. Like, you didn't have much choice. I mean, top 21 Oh, really? I guess if I knew a third Lily James movie, we could have gotten a lot of arbitrage here. 50-50 was 4.1%. So it did work. She's in Mamma Mia. Lily James dipped in Mamma Mia musical sauce. Dipped in ABBA oil. That's pretty good. What else do we have? Oh, spell check me. How is Lily James 34 years old? The older you get, the faster actors and actresses will age as well. Not literally, but figuratively. Because like in my head, Timothy Chalamet is like the, the newest actor. He's the most recently released actor. But I'm pretty sure that my dog has got to be like 26 now. 26 or 27. He's almost 30 years old. They, they patched him recently. <laughs> He's 28. That's crazy. I don't think, just being honest with you, I don't know if I could name an actor younger than Timothy Chalamet. Is Ansel Elgort younger than Timothy Chalamet? No? How old is Ansel Elgort? Tom Holland is younger? I said an actor. <laughs> Don't disrespect. <laughs> Damn. Why are you cooking Tom Holland? I'm just waiting for him to, him to be in a role where he has the sauce, okay? I don't think he's a bad guy. I'm just, when I see him as Spider-Man, I'm like, he's a good Spider-Man. He's a great Peter Parker. When I see him in anything else, I'm like, brother, they can't have you playing like a badass. Like, it's just, it, it, you're, you're playing against type. And if it works, that's great. But when it fizzles, I mean, you need the right project, okay? Jacob Tremblay is 41. Isn't that crazy? You know, the craziest part, I don't even know who the fuck that is. Who the hell is Jacob Tremblay? How old is Finn Wolfhard? The kid from Room? The kid from Room is 40? That, I, uh, you, that can't be true. It can't be true. He w I saw the movie when I was like 29. That motherfucker was like seven. <laughs> that does not make sense. That you have, you have baited me and you have succeeded. Oh, man. Todd Gurley is 29. I saw that. I saw that on Twitter because Twitter thinks I love the NFL. I don't know anything about it, though. I didn't get room. Like, they were just in a room. <sighs> Listen, Yelnats, I know you're trolling. First off, Room, a great movie. When they inevitably remake it in, like, 2041, they're going to have to make the room, like, the size of a closet, 
Otherwise, Gen Alpha is going to be like, why are they complaining? They have so much space. Be like the room would actually go for like $3,200 a month in Vancouver. Stop. <laughs> they would call that shit like the, the closet. Unless I'm mistaken, I, am I crazy to think that that motherfucker actually had two rooms as well? Play the daily. Spelunker. Yay! A noun meaning one who makes... Kaji. A noun meaning a tooth on the rim of a wheel or gear. The oh, word originates cog. from... Mid <laughs> Kagi. Hunch, a verb meaning to push. Yeah, okay. Vertical, an adjective meaning. When Chris O'Donnell gets pushed to his vertical limit. Pieces, a noun meaning a part of. A noun meaning you. Kerchief, a noun meaning a square of cloth. Easy, I wear one every day. Annuity, a noun meaning. A that one's for you, D.L. Guiga. Depths, a noun meaning. Multiple Johnnies. Clatter. A verb meaning to make Something a Something that happens that makes you rise to see what is the matter. Ineptitude. A no noun comment. meaning the quality or state of... What you will see in 27 minutes. Mortification. A noun meaning... To become a mortician. Koine. A noun meaning a dialect or language of a region that has become the common or standard language of a larger area. Koine originates from Greek, meaning common, derived from the feminine form of koinos. Koine. A noun meaning a dialect or language of a region that has become the common or stand- Yes! <sighs> Last time I had that, I went C-O-I-N-E-E. -E. I, I went French mode, koine. This time I listened more closely from the Greek. From playing video games, I know that the Greek alphabet does not have the letter C. All C's become K's. Flabbergasted, oh. an adjective meaning feeling or showing intense shock. Gargoyle, a noun meaning a... Boys, this is for all the marbles. 14 of 15. And the last one? Unsportsmanlike. Oh! The adjective meaning not characteristic. We beat spelling! Platinum trophy on spelling. Now listen. Was this the hardest seed we've ever had? No, but... Don't lie to me. 97.8% of you did not know how to spell koine, myself included. We had, that was a nuts on the table moment. We clipped those. Or maybe we don't. I don't know. <laughs> I lost on Coggy. Well, that one, to be fair, they lied to you. Kagi is not the word. Did you see Patrick Wasse balls on the table in a press conference the other day? I did. It's coming up everywhere, man. Also, apparently, Patrick Waugh said uh, you got to put your balls on the table when he was the coach of the Avalanche like 10 years ago. So I guess I stole it from him. But there are some times you just have to put your nuts on the table and say, you know what? Either I win or you chop them off. This is easy, brother. Montreal, Philadelphia. Eric Desjardins, insurance. Montreal and the Oilers. Sergei Samsonov. I love when you get Montreal Canadians and like a career milestone because then you just hit him with like some fucking Bernie Boom Boom Jeffrey on. <laughs> Just give it this to Bernie. Je there we go. Bernard Jeffreyon. He played from 1950 to 1968. How about, how about uh, you know, why don't we go a little deeper? Why don't we hit him with some Yvonne Cornwaye? There you go. We use Bernie Boom Boom Jeffreyon a little too much. Now, I would personally say... We got to figure out what the heck we're doing here. Hmm. Detroit Red Wings 200 assists plus in his career. Mm, perhaps a little Andy Bathgate from 1952 to 1971. Philadelphia Flyers 200 plus goals scored in his career. You ever hear of a little motherfucker by the name of Mikhail Renberg? Ooh, he was on the 
Legion of Doom, bro, didn't score 200 goals in his career? I guess that is like 30 goals a season for seven years. Like, that's pretty serious. Okay, you ever hear of a dude by the name of Yaramir Yager? <laughs> yeah, Yager has such a good, like, Swedish CRPG character profile photo. Like, he's like the, the guy who manages the horses in the first town that you go to. Apparently, Mikhail Renberg only had 190 goals in his career. That stings, brother. That stings a lot. Oh, man. Oilers, 200-plus goals scored in his career. That's a tough one. Uh, one of Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier, Glenn Johnson. You know what? Maybe, maybe people won't respect the Glenn Johnson play. Glenn me? Glenn me? Glenn, Glenn me, Glenn, Glenn Anderson, I mean, <laughs> no wonder he wasn't there, Glenn, Mr. A Mr. Anderson, bro looks 100% like Bergie from the Traders season two, am I wrong, that's Bergie from the Traders, bro, I, I didn't know that that's what he looked like, that's 100% Bergie, that's Bergie's dad, man, 200 goals scored and 200 assists. Have to go with um, me personally on that one. Have to go with um, a second. How, how early can we get here? How about a little Con Smythe played in the 1800s? Thinking of one of those motherfuckers where all the jerseys were just striped sweaters and in all the photos they're standing like this. They just have their hockey stick up. They all weigh like 106 pounds. Let me think about this. We got it. We're going way back. Like, what about Dickie Moore? We'll take those. <laughs> oh, Cy Dennehy. Yes, dude. Cy Dennehy would have been a sick play. Okay. Red Wings, 200 assists in his career. There's a lot. There's a lot here to, to choose from. Can I, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to pull like a little Brett. A little Brettness. Oh, you know what? What about Gordie Howe? He doesn't get enough respect. <laughs> People are never talking about that guy. Okay. The Oilers and the Red Wings. Feel like they, they don't have a ton of shared history. You guys got some shared history. Didn't you play in a Stanley Cup Finals against each other? I believe you did. I believe you did. Any chance? What about a Ron Hextall? No, I don't think so. What about a Chris Osgood? Absolutely not. Manny Lagasse, Roman Esch, Bernie Perrant, Eric Lindros, Jean Leclerc. Mm, don't think so. How about a, a Kenny Janssen? How about a, um, a dude, probably a more recent, how about a Claude Giroux? No, no. Patrick Kane? No, no, not Patrick Kane because it's the wrong Kane, right? Didn't Patrick, not Patrick Kane. I'm thinking of Evander Kane, Evander Kane. You know what? That's, I'm just going to say that that's good. I'll live with that. Let me see the obvious ones I missed. Shane Gostis Bear and Sam Gogner. Most famous for scoring eight points in a single game and then not doing anything else. Johnny Busick, what is my dog wearing? Are you seeing this? That's a... I, I've been following the NHL for quite some time. I have never seen a bucket like that. That is some NASA technology. That must be like the first Jofa. I think you're right. That's crazy. What's a Jofa? Jofa is a Swedish helmet. My dad rocked the Jofa. When, when I was a kid, you either rocked the CCM like Rob Ramage, or you rocked the Jofa. We were a Jofa household because we were skilled players. The CCM is more like your hard-nosed, kind of like Canadian-American power forward, and the Jofa was more like, you know, you were born in Malmo in 1971, and you're kind of like an unknown quality. Like the scouts didn't go out there that much back in the day, but you might, you're, you got some silky smooth hands, but we got to see how you adjust to the more physical game and the smaller ice. That's all I got. 
slash marker me. Oh, wait, 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 Isaacle. <laughs> Sorry, Isaacle. Isaacle.net. They made ice smaller. God, when they invented fucking molecular bonds. <gasps> you know what I'm talking about? Might want to mute the tab. People, they're, they're so dramatic. I'm the one who's supposed to care about this stuff. There, I've muted the website. You know, I played this yesterday. It has some persona music when you win. Someone replied VOD nuked because of the persona music. No, it fucking wasn't. The VOD is still there, bro. It's the same thing. I don't, it, Jay, back me up here or don't. Maybe you have your own opinion. Can I tell you, you know the, the bait on Twitter that goes viral? And it's like, um, give me one take about YouTubers that tells you like this. And it's always like the most popular opinion. I wish they took better sponsors. The, the YouTuber opinion that gets me like that is when every YouTuber calls a content ID match a copyright strike. That's not fucking true. That's like saying the police are on your ass when you got a parking ticket. Parking ticket, you're not going to prison, bro. You just pay the ticket or never park in their lots ever again. A, a content ID match is like you're not earning revenue off the video. It sucks, it's your job, but it's, it's part of the business because the system is cooked. Copyright strike is literally your ass has to go back to, I, I had the happy tree friends explain to me, can you upload full episodes of Dragon Ball Z on your channel? Like I, and the worst part was the copyright strike I got was because I did an Escape from Tarkov video that I called Blinded by the Light and then Entertainment One, cooked ass Canadian film distributor, gave me a copyright strike, said it was their content because they were releasing a movie called Blinded by the Light, which is named after a song that they didn't make that came out like 40 years ago. It's also just a phrase in the like English idiom dictionary. YouTube said, you know, Kill first, ask questions later. My ass had to go to copyright school. Car little cartoon characters were like, can I upload Avengers Infinity War on my channel? I had to do a quiz. Yes, no, yes, no. There is a huge difference between a content ID match and a copyright strike. And when we lie about it, we're doing, a, we're, we're muddling or muddying the waters of discourse. So you didn't get copyright struck because your ass played like, a video, you played Mario music while you were doing like a TikTok react segment, okay? You got content ID matched. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Magic scab. When the magician's guild is on strike. It is a passive that came out in rebirth. Guppy's hairball. It's not brown or red. <laughs> it doesn't come from the devil room. Perhaps it comes from the shop. There's options. It doesn't come from the shop. And it's a high, perhaps it comes from an angel room. And it is Sacred Heart, but Sacred Heart is red. It is um, Angelic Prism. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. It's not from an angel room. That's crazy. Let me get a silhouette. Um, bombs. Am I crazy? <laughs> 10 bombs. This item has a name. <laughs> but it doesn't come from the shop. <laughs> and it doesn't come from the boss room, the shop, the devil room, or the angel room. Where the fuck does it come from, bro? Regular secret room? Ghost bombs. 
I know it's not. It, it comes from bomb beggar and item room. Oh, yeah, the item room. Um, it's bombs. Bomb. Bombs. I don't know what to tell you. It's just bombs. Bombs. <laughs> Thanks for the bombs. I don't know what. <laughs> Explosive. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. I knew it existed in my brain somewhere. <laughs> Synonyms for, for bombs. Oh, boom. Ten bombs. That's a tough one, man. Holy. Thanks for the bombs. Oh, okay. That's the dolls. I should, uh, I should go pee. And when we come back, we'll get ready for Checkpoint League Balatro. See you in a couple minutes. Quick math Olympiad question. Prove that A to the power of N plus B to the power of N equals C to the power of N has no solution over the integers. Okay. Hang on, I got my whiteboard here. Um, 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 A equals C, B equals zero. Time. Trivial solution, do better. When people start getting canceled for bad math proofs. Um, excuse me, you can't use the transitive property in this situation. Do better. Anyone else get invited to the Reddit IPO? Is it a scam or should I buy? Um, Red Toe, you're the one posting investment stuff in here all the time. It's not a scam and you shouldn't buy. The answer lives in between. The executives and equity holders in Reddit want to use you as exit liquidity in order to actually get some compensation for their time with the company.
They hit you with the nope. When I showed my girlfriend the message you read from me about the square root of 1,000 is not a multiple of 10, she pogged out of her gourd. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. I'm, I'm genuinely happy for you. Buy puts on Reddit? You guys deserve each other. The Reddit IPO purchaser and the Reddit IPO options buyer. Two sides of the same cursed coin, bro. Zero data expiration out of the money puts. This is the way. Robert Kiyosaki told me that I should sell my 401k and buy 3,000 shipping containers full of canned beans. Bridgewater Capital says that there's 17 flags that have been tripped that says uh, we're about to be conquered by the Visigoth Empire of the Kuiper Belt. It's time to go, bro. Are you crazy? I'm, I'm out here ordering a second hash brown. It's a bull market. <laughs> Warren, Warren Buffett's getting uh, a large coffee instead of a media. Sorry, that's ridiculous. He drinks Coca-Cola. I forgot. You're not an afternoon coffee guy? I'm not an afternoon coffee guy. I'm a, I'm a double. I'm a 5.40 a.m. Slam the cold brew into my body as fast as I can type of guy. And then two Coke Zeros over the course of the stream, and then I'm off the caffeine rest of the day. A couple of times, a few months ago on the weekend, I, I thought, hey, I got nothing to do, and I'm a little drowsy. Maybe I'll have another coffee. I am now at the point where that second coffee in the afternoon, it gets me jittery. It gets me a little, the gut's bubbling a little bit. It gets me a little anxious, a little shaky, and, and can definitely screw up my, my sleep a little bit. I think I've got the optimum dose for my caffeine. It's a 5.40 a.m. cold brew and then two, cold, two Coke Zeros. It's crazy thinking back. Like when I was 25, I was drinking like a pot of coffee a day. And I, you, I mean, that's not like a specific measurement. I bet it like, it was probably six cups. I don't mean like six grandes but like it was probably like 1.5 liters of coffee a day what the fuck was i doing <laughs> living brother i mean i was like all right but still Studying for exams? My ass was playing like XCOM Enemy Unknown. I wasn't doing anything that important. XCOM is important? I wish someone would tell Firaxis that! Actually, Midnight Suns was really good. True, though, true. Let me, I'll, I'll change my game name to Balatro. I'll start talking in my normal voice again. Supermarket Sim is where it's at. Dude, I was watching Chibli play that. He is, he's cut out for Costco. He scans the items, like sends the machine over to the customer and gives them exact change in 0.75 seconds. Faster than I could, for sure. And my, my mental arithmetic is, is pretty good. I, above the median in this country, for sure. I mean, he's, he was cruising, man.
I mean, the median person's pretty bad at math. Well, probably because they have to learn Common Core now, where they give you the number 27 and they say, how many tens are there? And you write two, and then it says, how many ones are there? And you write seven, and then it says, how many ones are there in total? And you write seven again, and then they give you an X. And then the mom writes a paragraph under it and says, hey, teacher, can you please explain to me why this is wrong? When it said uh, seven ones was right and then seven ones was wrong at the end. And the, the teacher writes another paragraph that's like, they made us teach this to them. I wish that we could not do this, but I'll literally lose my job if I don't teach them to break down the number 27 into two tens, seven ones, and then 27 ones. I'm not even saying Common Core is bad. I'm just saying that in the in third grade math, it looks like a horrible way to teach math. But it you may reap the dividends later. It's like how, when I learned programming, the first two semesters, you know what they had us programming in? We were programming in fucking Blue Jay, bro. What the hell is Blue Jay? Blue Jay is like um I don't even know what to call it. Like it was like a fake IDE where you couldn't do anything wrong. <laughs> it's the worst Java IDE. I don't even remember. I mean, we got to be honest. It was like eight or nine years ago when I used Blue Jay. I feel like in the first semester of Blue Jay, we didn't even like run any programs. And then the second semester, the teacher was like, you can use Blue Jay for this entire semester if you want, but I would really recommend that you use Eclipse. So we were rocking Eclipse. We were hitting that Control Shift F5. Eclipse sucks ass now. Eclipse was abandoned. They lost the NetBeans War. Eclipse is whack too. Well, Java is whack to begin with, boys. So let's let's not hurt each other, okay? Hurt people, hurt people. But Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, oh, oh man. First year CS student be like light mode net beans. Fourth year CS student be like dark mode fucking custom linted VS code. You don't even have to, you just literally write a plain text sentence at the top and hit control shift F5 and it writes the program for you. Oh, baby. Editor's note, can someone tell me what control shift F5 does? Is that uh, compile and run? something run that lady in minority report be like run remember sorry i'm literally just killing time until i get my my call time here <laughs> There's at least 200 software engineers who make 300 grand in this chat right now watching NL while stuff compiles. That's kind of crazy to think about. First thing that popped in my head is you guys should buy some gift subs, but honestly, no. I know that you're spending the money on the Reddit IPO. I wouldn't want to dig into that fund. I'm chilling, I'm chilling. You don't need to buy gift subs, I'm just chilling. I'm trying to think of what other IDEs I freaking used. I'm gonna, as long as we're making enemies here, I'm gonna go straight up nuts on the table, straight out the gates, okay? Worst, I, I took Java. Hey, Quack posting, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. You didn't have to do that. There's that dream I logged in. I took Java, C sharp. Java again. Valentine, thank you as well. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I got to interrupt my bit. I got to burp. So satisfying, by the way. And Moolash3, thank you as well. Thank you. 
<clears throat> an anonymous thank you as well. Programming languages I learned in school. Tier list, okay? Of the languages I learned, I took three Java courses, two C Sharp courses, HTML, CSS that then turned into Node.js and Angular a front-end framework for web development. You're going to have opinions on all of those. You're going to see C-sharp is so elegant. Oh, I, I, took, I took two C++ classes as well. I, I really like C-sharp because it was like, you know, whatever you typed, it just did it. You, the, the verbiage, the nomenclature, the syntax was very easy to learn. Hey, Subserial, thank you as well. Thank you. But C++, you really felt like you were getting... I know the C programmers are going to be like, ha, ha, ha. And then the assembly programmers are going to be like, mm. and then the people who wrote the fucking compiler in the first place are going to be like, mm. and then the electrical engineers who built the chip in the first place are going to be like, mm. and then the immortal deity that made the laws of physics in the first place is going to be like, well, but C++, you felt like you were getting under the hood a little bit. Like when I wrote C sharp, I was like, any idiot could understand this. When I wrote some C++, I was like, this is just for me and the boys. But the worst programming language, the class was okay because the prof was goaded. Worst programming language, Swift. The one that you had to use, I don't know if you still have to, but the Apple programming language you had to use to make iPhone apps, straight garbage. Like, worse Java. Why would they, you, they made Java in like 1982 when they didn't know what they were doing when they were still like the computers were just big rocks they were like the size of a house and then they made like java but worse in 2011 or something like what are you doing so i don't know how they that that as far as i'm concerned after i used swift i was like whoever made that app where you're drinking a beer on the first iphone probably should be working for like the NSA or something like that because I don't know how he got through the maybe they didn't use Swift back then maybe they used something else but I could barely get like a button to pop up on the screen in code I had to use the visual organizer and then like drag the button onto the thing and then and I'm like you don't understand I don't want to do that I want to write 17 sentences about how to put the button on the thing Play Balatro? I'm waiting for my freaking, my call time, okay? It's so nice to mute and burp, man. It feels so good. Bad. Can you do one for the humanities, bros? <laughs> oh, that's way tougher. You know what's funny? I know it's, listen. In college, the engineers dunk on the humanities students. They say, what are you doing getting uh, your PhD in like Russian literature? It's not necessarily a great uh, signal for your employment prospects. After college, the humanities majors dunk on the engineers because the engineers can't fight back. They are at work holding a blueprint with a hard hat on and like looking at a bridge or something like that. They don't, they, they, they literally can't defend themselves. What's crazy to me is I got to fight back on the humanities majors a little bit. I was in biology, which is kind of like the humanities of the sciences. I did take a, a reasonable number of humanities classes in university. I think it's important to have a well-balanced education. You know, there were people in my English and my classics classes that were like, I'm, we would talk and I'd be like, did you read the book? And they'd be like, nah, dude, I didn't read the book. I just kind of winged it on the essay. Then I go, oh, cool, what's your major? Thinking they're gonna tell me they're like in physics and they just had to take this. And they're like, oh, my major is English literature. I'm like, you're paying like, so not a lot of money compared to what school costs in the US, but I was like, you're paying like five, 10 grand a year to get a bachelor's degree in English literature and you're not even reading the books? Like, what are you doing? In high school, that's like, sure, they're making you read the books and so maybe you're not interested, but like, you're, you know, your ass doesn't have to be here. 
You could be doing anything else. I was going to be mad, but it's accurate. I mean, you basically said, I'm going to spend the next four years reading books. And then when they were like, read this book, you're like, nah, I'd rather not. Based? Well, I don't know. Wouldn't you rather like half-ass your way through? Like, okay, you, so you're going to be like, NL, humanities is important. I agree if you read the books. But like if you're going to half-ass a degree, why wouldn't you half-ass one where like after you get it, you can use it to get a job more easily? If you're into the humanities, you should be passionate about the humanities and then like actually do the work so that it expands your, your mental. Are you logged on on Discord? Is there a worse genre of chatter, no disrespect by the way, than guy who tries to herd the cats but is neither a herder nor a cat? Like your ass isn't even involved. I'm just waiting for a message that's gonna say like, get started. <laughs> I, I see Apollo right now is talking to Malf in a private Discord room. I don't think I'm ready yet. I don't think they need me. I was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay sorry sheesh someone's got to say it okay i'm sorry i one of the smartest things i've ever said and people want to shoot and kill me for it is you want a streamer who has some contempt for his audience it's the right way to do it it's the way that the relationship should work there should be a little bit of friction I should resent the fact that I'm streaming a little bit, even though I appreciate it. And then you should sometimes be like, man, this motherfucker is like insufferable. That's the, that's the way that, that's the push and pull of the relationship. Otherwise your ass will be watching like a streamer, <laughs> like just alienating everyone on the platform. A streamer with the dim lights and then the key light and then their username and logo in neon behind them. And then anytime anyone subscribed at all, there would be like fireworks would go off and they would say like, oh my God, thank you for making my dream come true. And then on YouTube, they would be like, by the way, check it out. I just bought a Lamborghini Urus. You guys made my dream come true. It's a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar luxury SUV. Like we're not we're not doing that here. We're the fucking Joker and Batman, and I don't know who's who, but we're put on the Earth at the same time, and we're a fucking twin star system rotating around each other. And then when we all die, there's going to be a, another one, and there's going to be another one, and there's going to be another one, and there's going to be another one, and we're going to meet in Montauk, bro. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm reading the messages now. Why not play games? I'm waiting. I want my board. I'm waiting for my, my call time, okay? So that I can do the math Olympiad against my friends. I don't know what that means. Me neither. I should have played Zombs. Do I have time to walk to the LCBO first? I'm gonna say probably not. No disrespect, you know it's Tuesday, right? <laughs> I didn't mean it late. Came out, okay, we'll go, we'll pull it back a little bit. We're gonna turn the volume down a little bit, okay? Tequila Tuesday, let's go. It's Swag Tuesday, that's true. Hey, any other Canadians in the chat? I'm coming to a uh, realization. I think Sloan is a good band. 
I've been of the opinion, I've been kind of lumping them in with like mid-tier Canadian rock, like the Trues and stuff like that. Like the Matthew Good Band, no disrespect. I kind of feel like Sloan has some slappers. Like Underwhelmed is actually, it's got to be in the top 50 Canadian songs of all time. And nothing else in the catalog hits that high. There's certainly no Tragically Hip, but I think they, they should be elevated above mid-tier. Like Money City Maniacs, that's, that's a Canadian classic. Losing California's got some nice harmonies on it at least. Top five Canadian bands. You got it, Rush might be the best Canadian band of all time. Um, you probably, for, for cultural impact, you gotta say the Tragically Hip. There's got to be some indie stuff in there. Is it crazy? I know, like, I know he's he's cooked, man, but of Montreal, or not, sorry, uh, Arcade Fire, who are of Montreal. His first, like, four albums were really, really good. It's hard to not put them on, on the Mount Rushmore plus one of Canadian music. Treble Charger? I would probably leave them off, no disrespect. Maybe maybe I should be in this Discord now. Able to win with, so you got there's there's opportunities there. Uh, how is the scoring actually? Work? It's, it's like per the highest whole round, round right? Score, right? Highest round okay. score. So not just I mean you might still have like only one hand that scores yeah, like for sure. many billions. So, but for our purposes of scoring, it's 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 per round. Okay. What dick are we using? You're you're allowed to use red, blue, green, yellow, black. Any of those that you prefer. Oh, I can't I say, do anything without chicken or ghost, man. Oh. <laughs> I will say if whoever moves on to the next round, I do think we're going to open it up to more decks. So if you do end up uh, winning, you don't have everything unlocked, I recommend unlocking stuff in between now and Thursday. Um, I only got like six hours on this game. Well, luckily the decks are literally very easy to unlock, except for the difficulty ones, but... Yes. <laughs> That's a joke. I'll be honest. Ones. The more powerful, I'm not gonna. I'm still gonna ban the the balance deck because that one's just too strong. Is that the checkered one? No, no, no. It's the one that balances your multi and your chips. Oh, I don't think I've seen that They're one. Spoilers. Yet. I didn't come here to be spoiled. Well, sorry. How many? Brother. How much play, play time? Do, do I have the least amount of? Do I have the least amount of play know. time? How much do you have? Twenty. Twenty yeah. hours. Yeah. You turned me into a damn echo. <laughs> yes. Sorry, you heard it through my headphones probably because you got so loud. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's the Chibli Cory connection. Okay. That's a lot, hours. man. I'm at 21.3 hours right now. Oh, okay, I'm at 21.9. Hang on, nuts on the table. I don't think I have that many on 33.4. Peanuts. Oh, dude. Oh, Can you get 27.8? We're all in the same zone. I have 35. Wow! Cory's got the most. Yeah, but I'm also the worst. Cory's a fucking nerd, man. Yeah, but you have, to, you have to multiply that by 0. 0.4 of my age, and then, you know, I'm... Oh, he's got a 0. 0.4 malt on fucking Alice? Yeah. Well, Everything I experience <laughs> is forgotten. I don't want to keep people too long past their time, so we got to get started relatively soon. Does anyone have any questions about scoring or anything like that before we get going here? Nuts so on the table. Oh. Highest round score wins. Highest round score wins. In three Just, hours. In three hours, to give you perspective, our previous scores were 8 billion by mouth, uh, 180 by bear, 180 million by bear. And then I think Justin had 1.2 mil, and then Dan had 26 mil. I cover my ears because I don't uh, want that to, to be on my mind while I'm playing. Okay, I, I see you. You've, I'm, you I'm, you're, I'm, you're holding your headset even harder against your head. Only louder. <laughs> this, this was a uh, conversation in Discord, and it's been talked about in my chat. I'm not going to do the unlock everything. I think a couple people aren't doing unlock everything because they don't want to spoil the game for themselves. Yeah, no, 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 like, no, 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 you're not. You're not supposed to unlock everything. Okay. All right, is everyone ready? I'll count us down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go for it. All right. In this three, run of one doesn't count, though. Two, one, go. Good luck to the gamers. <gasps> Good luck to the gamers. Good luck. Good luck. I have moved to the recording tab. I will stay in the recording tab. <clears throat> Play me. 
what decks do they say we could use? Oh, man. And we should probably play on, on white stake difficulty. I would I rather have, I guess I'd rather have one extra hand than one extra discard. First four decks, okay. So straight one, we're just chilling. Double my money, nah, man. We're just playing poker. Everybody relax. Step one of the checkpoint league, you just gotta simmer yourself down a little bit. You gotta play some full houses, and you gotta you gotta slow yourself. Look at that frame, perfect. That's one special point as well. Plus two hand size, minus one hands per round. This also minus one's hand per round. I would I would go freaking Troubadour here any day of the week, man. That's pretty solid. Select me. Go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So far, we're chilling. The hands of a government man. That's me. People will really say, oh, discourse, that pales in comparison to my policy of being born under punches, and then they won't be born under punches. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, man. Clubs and spades, sure. Uh, why not, I suppose? Tell you what, give me, give me card sharp here. Must play five cards. I would simply make a straight flush here of some repute. Sorry to do it to you, brother. We discard those Andrews. Six, I mean, like, I'm kind of, uh, uh, I'm kind of losing my mind, George. I'm kind of losing my mind. There we go. So let's, let's club up a little bit here. As if we were on the green. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a good straight flush. Spades are worth more. I would say for now, buy it. Just get off the ground. Next step, we'll be getting the econ off the ground. And you know what? I would definitely take two free jokers. Hmm. An accretive malt with Mama Liz's chili oil. I would, I would try erosion. And I feel like I would take business card just because I'm not going to need score anytime soon. Now, nothing personnel, kid. We'd like to create as many face card spades as possible. And then you go straight up. We don't, I guess I could have created a flush house, but it shouldn't be relevant here. 4,000 points, you think that's gonna do it? Is that the high score for right now? And we go, we go econ mode. Cards are drawn face down after the first hand. We get to do one discard. And then play 10 jack, queen, king, ace. Should actually, well, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. Chib's at 100 million already. <clears throat> but it's 100 million New Zealand dollars. But that's like 200 million Canadian dollars. So, um, I'll admit it's a bit insane. Doubling listed probabilities is insanely good for our money. It gives us a two and two chance for face cards to give $2 when scored. So I'm sorry to say card sharp goodbye. At some point we'll want a joker that does what you do. But for now we're, we're relaxing. And we are, I, I hate to do it, people, but we're looking for, we're looking for Jupiters for now. Straight flush might go crazy, too. Classic. I mean, we do have a straight immediately. It's basically like uh, the patrician's discard. King me, 10 me. It would be better. I know we got 10 jack, 9, 10 jack, queen, king. It would be better to play face cards for our finances. 
Like this full house will go crazy, bro. That's five face cards that give $2 each. Oh! <laughs> oh, we're rich, bro. Aces are not faces, unfortunately, but... Okay, this now gives us the leeway to buy packs every single time. If we get that multi enough, who knows what could happen. I mean, baseball card is a, is a must-buy. It's a must-purchase. Tough decision. Um, let's... I think we're, we're not going to remove cards from our deck. It's, it's hard to do so. I have to think about this one. I think I have to dump you. We have the chips coming from this. Maybe we'll remove cards. We can add another on common here later. Planets appear more often. We needed something that gave mult so that we have something to multiply. It's just my personal opinion. You sold an uncommon? You, we got lots of game left, gentlemen. You guys are debasing yourselves. You got nothing to fear except fear itself. Let's, let's start with a little simple, a two pair based Andrew. We're freaking loaded, bro. Eight, nine, ten, Jack, Queen. We need to, if we could get tarot cards to remove jokers, though. We have nothing to synergize on. Literally, it's, it's anti three of eight, bro. You got to relax yourself. You've lost your mind. You're, you're taking it too seriously. Go take a lap. Go t I said go take a lap, okay? You're talking to a newborn baby. You're like, this baby's got no skills. Bro, it's not supposed to have any skills, okay? It's supposed to be in the womb for like four years. We just got to push it out at nine months because otherwise the head would be too big. It would be cracking pelvises on the way out. Buy it? Why not? The head is soaring. We ideally, right now, our hand, our, our, our best case scenario is spade face cards. And I am loving every minute of it, Jerry. I am loving every minute of three. Well, maybe in this case, give me a 10 jack queen, club king, and an ace. Keep the spades. We can maybe play them in a flush later. It's taken us two hands most of the time to, to get the to get what we need anyway. To get the score. I'll play some straight dookie to get some money. And then we play our spade flush. So far so good. Apollo, if you're watching, I am going money build right now. I'm getting my econ off the ground because once we get our econ off the ground money can do anything it can be exchanged for goods and services we're gonna find a way hanged man hanged man they're not giving me hanged man glass face card you're gonna need glass for score at some point okay and then plus one consumable slot we roll for an uncommon joker. Jupiter is a huge get. You know what? It's not, the, it's not the right move. It's not the right move. Plus 20 mult if your hand contains three or fewer cards. You're common though. You know what? This allows us to get a better mult to multiply. For now at least. So we traded a common for a common. And then... We play like three of a kind kings and we're straight zooted. Look at all the question marks there. <laughs> they didn't know, bro. They didn't know. Times two mult if your hand contains a flush. There's some valuability there. I can't deny that.
Might need some chips at some point. Hello, Daniel viewers. Daniel, respectable job today. I heard you did well. A 21 million point round is no joke, by the way. Like, that's, that's serious, man. Now, I get that there's people out there putting out 8 billion, but like, you know, not everybody in the league can be 2016 LeBron James, you know? Myself, I'm, I don't even think I'm the 2016 LeBron James. I don't know who it would be in our group. <laughs> now that I think about it. I think that the, the morning bracket maybe was a little stacked, but... Okay, I'll tell you what. No, no, no we, we, play, we play this first. We're farming some capital. We're going economics build. Not my best hand, huh? Come on, boys. I'm not I'm not playing I'm not drinking any freaking Merlot and I'm not playing like a trash tier full house. So like you you better give me something here. I'm willing to get messy. I'm willing to make some mistakes. I'm willing to throw a pair with a freaking lad attached to the back of it. Three chips gives you plus twenty molts. We're straight chilling. Are we dead on anti four? No disrespect. Have you ever seen Balatro before? We're hiding our power level so that we can farm more capital right now. We are not. We're, this run is great, honestly. You're. The, I'm, it's still fragile. Like a, a boss blind could kill us. But we we got some, we got some great stuff to play around. I I think King 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 is totally fine to play, bro. And Laddie, get lucky. Oh, 20 molt me, bro. And that really hurt. Okay, listen. Stone me. Give me some face cards, bro. I'd like to I'd like to make some money. I'd like to make some money, please. It's ridiculous. Guess what, brother? Jack 3 stone. Would not be so all alone. Everybody jack three stone. You, you have reached your limit. Erosion is not going to work this deck. Now, I know it's uncommon, so probably you, you replace the business card first. This is where the econ happens, okay? You get that. Forget this. We go next because we have the econ. Next base edition, Joker becomes negative. It must be done. That puts us in a... It's an awkward position, but it must be done. King me, bro. Okay, we do have a straight. Is that better than a discard? <laughs> if you have to ask, probably. <clears throat> but not by much, people. Squammy, 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 squam. I don't care. Four hands, we make these. Burn a hand to draw a second king. I would not feel so all alone. Everybody king, king, stone. They, oh, we got 20 free dollars from our lucky card and 20 molt. Am I, did we just one in five and one in 20 and become best friends? The greatest king of all time. No disrespect, Charles. This joker gets 25 gems for each stone card in your deck. Hold on. And he's on common. Okay, listen. You're ass. There's no reason not to have you, but you're ass. I'm sorry. You don't, you literally do nothing for us. But maybe we'll get a joker that plays off negativity as so many people do in this mixed up world. Okay, I would say our econ is done. We need the molt to score. This is chips plus on common. Can I get some, some tarot packs, bro, by the way? Can I get some tarot packs? One hand type this round. It has to be three of a kind.
or pair with a stone. I, I'll be all level with you, but I'm a little scared. You play pair with another card tossed. You draw stones. That's actually totally fine. We're so back. Or pair of stones. Is two stones a pair? Okay, now we need to we need to turn the potential energy into uh, real energy. Most played hand, pair, high card, straight is our most played hand. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rare Joker set money to zero. That won't be happening. Polychrome King, please. Hollow. Life goes on. No, none face cards in hand is a slap in the face, but a wheel with a little luck sauce on top. Oh, polychrome oops all sixes with Mama Liz's chili oil. When a round begins, add a playing card with a random seal into your hand. <laughs> so you're uncommon. And like, we're not going to get rid of you because we need the malt. If we got rid of erosion, we could fit it. And seals are like really good. And some of them will be face cards. One third of them will be face cards. I think this, if we're going for highest score possible, I think that we're going to need some seals to create tarot cards. My two cents. I tempted the upgrade pair. You got no way to get rid of the garbage? Well, I would, me personally, I would call cap on that because we do have a way to get rid of garbage. We have excess hands. We can just play the cards for now. Support me. <laughs> uh, ace, ace, stone me. Something's gonna happen, man. This, this. You gotta lay in wait and obscure your true power level until you're ready to pop. We got rid of business card. So we do, there's no advantage for us playing face cards anymore. So save the glass queen. We don't want it to break until it, until we absolutely need it to break. So I don't know why I was so concerned with face cards now that I think about it. Most played hand. Pair! Okay, guess what, boys? We're a pair build. Pair me. Pairs and stones and pairs and stones and pairs and stones and the wall and the ramp and the wall and the ramp. Face cards give chips. Kings in hand give mult. We got four kings. I, I wish I could. I, I wish I knew how to quit you and I wish I knew how to take you. I think we have to compete. We want cards. It's it's amazing that the card ends up in your freaking hand too, bro. And then. Honestly, why don't you just create like a wild Andrew? And then we'll go 4-4 four, four stone. Brant steel. Dan, you actually, you gave me a harder puzzle than any uh, of the dulls. When you kept saying uh, Brant steel, I was like, where the heck do I know Brant steel from? And then I realized that it's uh, the website you can go to to do like simulated reality TV shows with reality TV show contestants. I remember, that's, a, that's like a 2019 sort of reference. For me, at least. Red Seal, and you guys are right, by the way. Red Seal re-triggering uh, Steel is what we want. But also, oh, but we would want to play that. I mean, it's good either way. You got to go, you want Red Seal... Steel, long term. Eight molt if you play a pair. We snooze that. In this house, we snooze. Don't discard something that could be stone. Oh, three aces. <laughs> stone me? Oh! That's big. That's a big one. 
pair of kings goes crazy. Especially we got the, the double probabilities on the lucky card. So another turns the second time is paid out with 20 bucks, bro. Now, we will not be using Saturn. Don't even tempt yourself. We need good cards. The Hanged Man finally showed up. Um, we'd, we'd love more stone cards. That's the, that's the given. And now if we could get a fool card, life would be crazy. <laughs> it would be. I would add a steal any day of the week. We go next. Shop has a rare joker. I snooze on that. You gotta play it. Simply, it's a must. We got tons of hands to work with. We got tons of discards to work with. Pair of kings probably gets you there. So you discard to try to draw stones or cards with seals. Come on, come on. You couldn't give me a card with a freaking seal. Used to get a proper hand, now you get a picture of a freaking stone. That's good, you know what we did there? We didn't need to play the lucky card. That's why we played it. So that we could burn the bad luck and save the good luck for when we actually need it for like a dynamite hand. It just makes sense. Great. It's a great joker. We need something that gives flat molt. If anything, we need a hollow joker. But I can't really sell any other joker. I need a hollow negative joker. <laughs> it's, a, it's a foil, uncommon, molt multiplier. But the problem is I have to dump something. If I dump you, our molt is getting... So you know what? You're, you don't do anything. You don't do enough for us. We sell you. We buy you. You get placed here in the queue. And then we're, we're, we're... If we can add more molted cards into the game, we could sell this guy. And then, yeah, yeah. So we want Empress. We want Empress cards. Scrammy, do, 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 scram, do, 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 Start here, just to see if you get um, 20 bucks. Little man, put that stuff in my hand. This also gets the, the next Joker that triples our molt popping. I'll be straight up with you, bro. That's free money. Shorty, what you think about that? Find me in the gray Cadillac. We in the club, like, ooh. Ooh. Decent. More stones would go crazy, though. This is a big moment for us. Jumbo Arcana in the Fool. No Fool. In the, in the Death to create a stone card. Glass also goes crazy, but... Fool, Tower, Death. They give us another death card. <laughs> Roll me. We snooze on these. After player discard, always draw three cards. This is the first time in my entire life that this uh, is not even that bad for me. Because we play pairs and three of a kinds. Okay, throw out the classic Andrew. Good hands, good enough. Toss you another classic Andrew. What happens if you play five stones? You might call me crazy for this one, but I feel like that is a high card. I feel like it's a crazy good high card. Um, for chips, and if you got some molts going on, then then even better. It's like this is going to be key 
to getting uh, like really, really, really high scores, but it's just not the right time for our deck. We gotta, to our own deck be true. We don't have enough flat mults in order to make all these t multiples pop off. So we, we really need to replace you with an uncommon f uh, hollow joker, and then we would go insane. It's a, t it's a two and five chance, bro. Sucks to your ass, Mar. We go next. <laughs> is what it is. It's the greatest first hand in Earth's history. Come on, lucky me. It's all right. Save the luck for when we need it. Can you, if you buy magic trick, can you buy stone cards? Destroy five cards in hand, gain 20 bucks. Convert all cards to a random suit. You can indeed. Good to know, good, good to know. Simply put, I don't think I can, I don't think I can destroy cards. Cause if it destroys my steel, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be freaking pissed. So. At least this doesn't come with a negative, but not what I'm looking for, really. Worst death of all time, asked to leave. Just in general, these are all not what I want right now. I mean, double red seal is great, like if we could get something. <laughs> I, you're right, you're right, we do want molts, because the flat molt could allow us to replace this, but not on nines, really, not on, not on nines, not like this. Molt on Red Seal would have been better. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. Why not Molt on Red Seal? It's the same reason as anything. It was a mistake. Not everything has a, a, a an erudite reason uh, steeped in logic. Sometimes there's just, you know, missteps. Why make a mistake? Show me how. Show me your best attempt at parallel parking. Oh, why, why did you... Uh, parallel park but now your car is three feet away from the curb and every car behind you is honking because they can't actually drive anymore and yet you're already on your way into TRE to get some macarons see it's not hard to be mean it's hard to be kind it's hard to extend grace and and understanding it's very simple Stone me. Imagine if he was projecting. I don't need to prove myself to you. I'm insane at parallel parking. The I, I, It wasn't always like that, guys. It wasn't always like that, okay? The reason I got to be insane at parallel parking is because I literally never did it until uh, after my driving test until my daughter went to a daycare where it was only street parking. So I had to parallel park every single day. You're not doing anything for us, I'm sorry to say. Can I get a stone, please? That's that, the whole reason I'm here is for a stone, bro. Give it a try. So by, uh, it, I guess this is a roundabout way of saying that the way to get better at parallel parking turned out to be practicing. <laughs> and now I got no no qualms about doing it. Who would have thought? Two cards here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you you love to create some more stones. <sighs> Lucky still, especially with the luck voucher. We got to give luck a chance, man. Gotta give, we should put it on a nine though. I guess we'd rather upgrade every poker hand by one level than just the pair, but me when a black hole is basically just mercury. Hearts give a two and three chance to molt when scored, and it is uncommon, but we're not, I mean, I know we have more hearts because of the spectral card, but it's, it just doesn't fit with what we're going for. We don't need, I know it's, it's, do not be seduced by the new blood, okay? We don't need multi-mults. We need 
flat malts right now. Otherwise, we have no base multi. Our base multi will be 11, which is not enough. And we got to play hearts. You actually need this? I disagree with your, with your logic on this one. I'm sorry to say. Give me a spectral pack. Let's try it. Add a red seal or a polychrome. I would love to add a red seal to a stone. Red red seal on a on a steel. That's the yeah 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 yeah. Thank you thank you thank you. I, on the flat mold might have been nice too, but easy mode. Oh dude, and when I get rid of you, I can play two pair and then two stone cards and other shit to basically count as a discard. That was so much worse than I thought it would be. What happened? <laughs> oh, never mind. We're cooking. Okay, we got a long way to go. That's very nice, obviously. Very important card for us. Spectral pack me. Red seal on a steel. Yeah. Enhanced numbered cards could be nice too, but we'll go red seal on steel. There's something to it. Roll once. Juice me, bro. Okay, that's two two and fours that have failed us. Do not fail me again. This is your last warning. We're so due. In fact, I think we're due for two in a row. Me personally, I think we're due for two in a row. 4-4 four, four, stone me. It'd be nice to win in one hand. It'd be nice to win in three hands. <clears throat> How about Jack-Jack stone? We're straight chilling. Address the tarot joker allegations. I guess it would have been nice for the flat mold. Maybe I'm being a little too greedy. Because like what I'm rooting for is like un it has to be uncommon and larger than 10 flat mold. Lar larger than 20, ideally. Now that actually, I guess because we got the times 1.5. It's like larger than 12 would be okay. But right now we're straight chilling. How about more stones? Fool gives us Hermit. I mean, could be worse. But I really think we need um, less less money and more bonuses of any kind. Multi. It, oh, steel is... Oh, we, we probably need Mult. We need Mult! Because we have, we have enough times anyway. We need some flat Multis. All right, you guys are right. This one can go. At the very least, this gives us the ability to play more cards. And we'll, we want to dump it, but it, at some point we could do better. But what we have right now is really good. Now, do we need shops in order to get over 1.1 million? I do think we need shops. I don't think I can, I don't think I can skip. I think I need shops and I need the cards to get better. But it's close. So now I can straight up play this, and that's a pair, but it basically also serves as a discard. Immediate improvement. Pair of twos would, would be a nice excuse here. Okay, I mean, if you're going to force my, my fucking hand, a gold two is kind of annoying. Because <laughs> I can't play anything else and still have it count this high card. Dump it, dump it, dump it. 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 Do we want to keep the, the multiple Andrew? And the lucky Andrew? We got lots of discards left. Give it a give it a try. <clears throat> I 
Good hands. Pair of tens goes crazy. You'll get a planet at the end of it anyway. We probably had the space to play our other card, but just relax. I mean, popcorn is actually his ass. Never mind. <laughs> We're too late in the game for popcorn to matter. I'm a skipping Andrew on that one. I, gold seals are not what I'm looking for. Red seal malt, actually, it has some, it has some, some purchase in my world. Emperor, this could get the engine going, bro. Get the engine going. It's a double sell in this house. So it's a very, that's an important joker. <laughs> Blue, the blueprint is like, because how could you not? But the pro, uh, it's all this, we have none flat molt. And it is a rare, so it'll be. <laughs> you don't need flat? I think I need some flat, man. Sell stone? I guess the question would be, what are we duping? I guess you dupe baseball joker. That's that's got to be a given. Fuck it. We going off. But imagine before you pop your wheels. You, you you put the blueprint, oh, incompatible! They can't figure out how to multiply fractions, bro! You need common core. So I, maybe we start here, and then after that we go, we move you over, but anyway. All right, let's see if we cooked ourselves. That's half the fun of, of Balatro. Seeing if we cooked ourselves. We're dumping this bad boy, sorry to the six. Plus 20 molt, don't mind if I do. Guys, we cooked ourselves. <laughs> Found myself screaming in a hotel room. When you play molt, now copy your 3x. It's fine, card sharp wasn't active. Oh, you're so right. Guys, it's ass. We cooked ourselves. The times three is less. Okay, let's try it. This is all about experimentation. Baseball is still better. Okay. A dude that is 500 years old when you ask him a question about sports. We're chilling, bro. We're chilling. Uranus. Okay, I mean, we're, we're getting pretty close to tapping though. You are an uncommon, but it's way too late to activate your engine. How about you give me a stone card? These are useless. We do need flat mope. I told you. <laughs> what did I what did I tell you, man? Every mercury we get means we need less flat malt, but still some. We have to go next. We have to go next. 1.1 milli incoming. Great start, honestly. And dump the ace. I, we don't need a planet. We need we need to go to war. That gets us there. Play 10, 10, 7, 2. This will be better because of card sharp. Okay. Another red seal steal. It gets us there, bro. It's that simple. It gets us there. He, okay, tell, chat, tell him why we play a pair of kings. Because he, get, he gets on base. Because he gets on base. 
Highest round score, 3.2 million. That's, that's something, okay? Now, this is where things get serious. Money Balatro. Now, lucky card is important. This is kind of cheesing me off because I, I, I personally feel like blueprint dice should work, but they're incompatible. <laughs> but still, I'm, maybe maybe Local Thunk doesn't know, but if Local Thunk wrote the code right, it should just work, man. Even the programmer doesn't know what happens inside the ghost of the machine. Oh, it doesn't work. Mm -mm. This will take black hole on this one. Seven dollars. What is this? What a six inch sub costs 14 years after the cessation of the five dollar footlong campaign. Okay, I'll be honest with you. It's going to be tough to get the 7.2 milli. Uh, a malt. Two molted Andrews and a stone is a start. That's at least playable. No, that's not good enough. <laughs> we should have played a bad pair first. Yes, you are correct. We have to dump. I honestly think we can't play chip cards. We, we, we can only play molt or like lucky cards. So we really got to fish for like what we're looking for. I, I, we try the lucky card. Yes! <laughs> the flat multiple. We got a long ass way to go though. <laughs> There's zero nines left in the deck. I guess we'll be discarding that. How are we, are we, we're never playing that ace, so give me a discard. It's never over, chat. It's never over. It's over when I say it's over. Two stones and two multiple Andrews. Then a, a red seal steel. Okay, it's over, guys. We can we can still play for high score. We can beat 3.2 million. That is gonna help, actually. And we got two hands left. Yeah, give it a give it a try. Four point five million, and then you've got we got lucky again. Eight six six four stone, so we're not gonna make it. Probably, I don't think we will, but this is gonna be a decent score. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the way. Hold. Do people understand they're not speaking English? What does copy the repeat hand mean? inherent nonsense verbiage 6.3 million okay put it in the books this one's for you apollo 6.362 million 250 thousand 175 billion that was good though 6.3 million made it to anti 11 i think we've used about 40 minutes of time we go again let's try let's try yellow deck this time not bad for a pair run. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Give me five free dollars. Money's on sale again. Okay, now early game, stick to what you know. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. You know what? We got six, seven, eight. Probably easier to create a straight. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we got lots of money. How about a flat joker that allows us to get our econ pumping? I mean, this is very nice. This this whole shop is very nice. This certificate of authenticity seems like it goes crazy early. We get good sealed cards that give us late game scaling potential. Probably buy Mega Arcana first if we're gonna buy it. That way, if we get Hermit, Hermit or something, we use it immediately. We know at some point we're going to need steel. So for now, steal me. You might as well. 
Steel Jack. Two tarot cards is nice, though, man. Two tarot cards is nice. It is tempting. We don't need glass. Just give me the two tarot cards. Convert three cards to clubs. We'll talk. We'll talk about that one. A steal. And, uh, oh, I mean, honestly, it seems like we got a little flush potential. So I'll just take a wild for now. We go next. All clubs are debuffed. It's all right. How about a nice little full house? The great thing about certificate is that you get the card in your hand. Like that, when you get a gold seal, instead of like trying to figure out how you're going to play it, you just fucking play it, bro. Two twos, two tens. It's so much easier to get a flush, man. You got to... You got to go for it. Like it just... It, it minimizes the errors early because you know exactly what you're doing. Like you know what you're looking for. Two aces. Two jacks. Four queens. Zero sevens. We're dumping these Andrews. How dare you? Oh, all right. I should I should have used the uh, the moon, but kind of necessary. The problem. What are you? H eight of hearts gives times two more ones. Garden. I'm mad at you. Okay. Well, you know what? This is speedy run. Okay. Speedy run means we take throwback and. We keep this for now because we got no better options. And I think we just go next and we skip and we skip and then you send it. Purple seal, things you love to see. Um, well, we'll discard it. Oh, but we need to create a tarot card first. You know what? Maybe we're not a flush build. We don't have any discards. You're absolutely right, my friend. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Good point. In that case, <laughs> why it's a dollar, why not? We don't know what we're gonna play. I, I greatly appreciate this steal. Oh, we don't have any discards. Um, it's an okay run to die on. Because it happens so fast. But I would rather live. I don't think I'm built for the skipper's lifestyle, my friends. I don't think I'm built for the skipper's lifestyle. <laughs> Give me a new run. We go again. Hmm. We skip. This is still a skip select. No, no, because I want the rare joker. Skip, skip, and then just get 500 points. It's easy, bro. You make a heart flush. Wow, dang. You make my... You make everything groovy. Just trying to think about how to play it. I guess we'd like to keep the five and the six. Or do we want to keep two tens? I guess we'd rather keep two tens. Makes it easier to make better hands. Oh, well, turns out I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something uh, I don't know. Now, my rare joker, define my run for me, please, so I can turn my head off. Every time a card is sold, the bot... Okay, no, I know what we do here. You get this. This is incredible late game scaling. The problem is we have none early game scaling, but we just find it. We just make it happen.
Honestly, I'm going back to my roots. Get thinned out. You don't need to sell jokers? Yeah, yeah don't worry about it. You're, you're on some antiquated verbiage, and I don't blame you for it, but... Can I get to 800 points? I think I can, but I have to fight. We gotta fight for it. We got they just go with the... It's so hard to play the flush, though. I guess I would play... I would play we don't want to play a pair. We really want to play a flush. This is where things get tough. Sell taros and planets. Don't worry, guys. When you get in the car, you gotta put the key in the ignition and turn it. Then you dep depress the brake pedal while shifting into reverse if you're going to back out. If you're going to drive, you have to shift into drive and then remove your foot. You're going to use your brain to send a signal to uh, using motor neurons to your muscles to move your bones in such a way that you lift your foot off of the brake pedal and then you're going to move it over. It's going to require a different set of muscles to move a different set of bones over to the gas pedal, at which point you will apply a certain amount of pressure to accelerate to your desired speed. I'm telling you, don't worry about it. We got it. A flush, realistically, is going to be 280 points, which is enough for us. Two pair is going to be 96 points. It's not worth playing. A full house is going to be worth... 800 points. <laughs> no, that's not math. That's not math. A full house is going to be worth 300 points. I'm sorry to do it to you, but it has to be done. And we, we may regret this decision, but we just need... We don't even need four flushes. 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King saves us a discard and is pretty good. And we got two clubs in hand. We have ace, two, three, four. We do also have four clubs, though. We got we to gotta play smart money ball on this one. We still have four clubs. You just got to trust the process. So we need a flat molt joker immediately. Good, good. Scary! <laughs> Gross Michelle would go crazy right now. Plus 10 molts. That's, that's good enough. And it's a money enabler. And honestly, I just don't think we're going to get seed money. I can live with that. Fool gives us Mars. Irrelevant. Steel, of course, has some relevancy. Bonus has some relevancy. It would be nice if you guys... I, I don't think we can afford the wheel in this suit. I'm sorry to do it. I'm sorry to do it. Competition brings out the beast in me. I'm going to go steal ace. We got to think about the future. Like, this is... We're, we're in a spooky situation here, lads. Plus 10 molt is nice, though. It is, people. Okay. Six, seven. Well, what, a pair would give us... Two molts, plus 10. The fuck is 16 times 12, bro? <laughs> Just not interested in crunching the numbers on that one. Give me a better hand. Okay, why am I playing anything but flushes? Good question. For now, don't be stupid. We play flushes and we discard twos. He's a genius. Common Core would let you solve that. You're blaming me for the sins of uh, my ancestors. I didn't choose what the fucking math curriculum looked like when I was a little kid. I was in the fifth grade. Like, I wasn't in charge of important decisions like that. They just gave me the worksheets and I filled them out and then stared at the ceiling. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's, none of them are gonna happen, man. It's just simply not going to happen. Of things that are not going to happen, that one would be nicer if it happens. We were thinning the deck. We thinned fives out of the deck. Well, what, are we th what are we thinning it for? When you think about it, right? To draw more spades? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we can only play one hand type. I think you probably know where this is going. What do you want to do? It's a discard sixes, huh? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's too scary. Um, we could discard... Well, you know what? Discard this. This. We drew another red card. And now we don't have our flush. Lads, I might have cooked us for the purposes of a meme. I cooked us. I cooked us to try to make this thing that I said couldn't work, work. What have I done? Okay. New strat. High card with the times, with the plus 10 times three molts. It's the way to go. It's, it. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. It worked. <laughs> Sheesh. <clears throat> Necessary. Plus one hand size. Best voucher in the game. Spectral packs. Change my game for me. I'm just going to say it, brother. Taros will go crazy for us. Like, we could polychrome campfire, but then we have no flat molt. We lose. We could polychrome blackboard. <sighs> nah, man. Free tarot. Free tarot is the way. It is. It is. Go ahead and take one of those. Should have put it on a red card, probably, but... Foil rare. Let's, let's compete. I want to draw that. Now, what do you want us to get rid of? Tens? Any day of the week and twice on Thursdays. And then discard red cards. The tarot card is justice. Very nice. Hey, look at this. That's a times three molt, bro. Should use mail in rebate more. The, getting your econ online is important, man. This one doesn't feel as easy. Creates a copy of a random joker. Polychrome. Destroy five cards in hand. Create two copies. This is a great opportunity to destroy five cards that I don't think I care about. Deck gets a little thinner. Get some better cards. Better, closer, warmer. Standard pack me. Another tarot. Like, get, get your freaking econ online, bro. Get the econ online. Forget about a rare joker. You don't need it yet. You need it later. There's too many red cards, my dog. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, all right. Discard the diamonds. And this heart. Discard you, 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 you and you. Now we got all good stuff. Hey, a free joker. Things you like to see. Plus 12 molt if your hand contains a straight. Things that are not going to happen. Um, but that's okay. I know what I must do. 10 10, ace 2 7. Give it a try here. I'm using non lateral thinking. I mean, I'm using lateral thinking. <laughs> give me, give me a discard here. And we're going to the moon. The moon has been done. You gotta sell taros for campfire? Yeah, but why would I sell them right now when we're easily clearing blinds? Econ is important, but Jupiters would go crazy. No Jupiters, okay, maybe, maybe full. I do tend to play full houses. I do love Fibonacci. One day, maybe we'll get this four of a kind popping. Because you're easily clear in blinds, why not use them now when you don't need it? Am I crazy? When you pack a snack in the car, just in case you run off the road, you eat that granola bar like as soon as you get out of your driveway, it resets after boss blinds, my brother. You're just selling the cards for none reason. 
Go ahead, Fruggles. Go ahead, say it. Say it. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Okay. Apology accepted. Because you doing it now adds on to what you're doing later. I hate to do this. Your fave chatter's favorite chatter. Resets when boss blind is defeated. Slash user. Your fave chatter's favorite chatter. Two timeouts, both by Mubot. You ever see Gladiator? Count created 2017, which means you're at least seven years old. So already this is indefensible. Selling now adds on to what you do later. You're selling it to stack up more molt over time. He refuses to sort by suit. This bit is burning valuable time. This man is so bogle-pilled. You did mention John Bogle. You skipped the pair. He replaces jokers every round. He's ass. My goat is washed. That's tough. That's tough. Because there's like one positive message for every... 35 negative messages. I'm sorry it had to happen. What's an hour in seconds? Can I, can I put in functions in IRC? Can I do 60 asterisk 600? <laughs> 3600, thank you. 3600. I'll see you in three runs. Or never again. Ace2358. Let's honestly, let's do it. Get in the cage. Discards two random cards per hand played. Okay, I understand. What do you want from me here? I'm not playing a straight. It's not my tempo. Wait, but you... Oh, we got plus 12 multi if we play a straight. I'm playing a straight. It is my tempo. Dump them and play flushes. Hold the fool, though. This this fool could become the most valuable card in the history of planet Earth. Watch this. Ace. It's, the ace isn't going to break, and this ace is going to get discarded, which is going to make everything pop. All right. Well, you'd so-and-so. So be it. Pair of aces with a steel card in hand. One hand remains. Well, we got a little one hour score oh, update. You scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's intense. I know you're really into it. I don't want to waste too much of your time here, but you've got a nice, a nice, you're, you're in first place. Gosh! You're going to be in second place very shortly. Mm. Um, Corey is about to, he's about to jump into the E's, brother. I, I, I can't. They, oh, he, no. He, he's going to the moon. I don't uh, even know I, what E is. Yeah, I don't, don't, uh, you might be playing for second here, but you're currently in second, but I just wanted to let you know that you, you are shortly about to be passed by Corey. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, other two players are, are unscored. They haven't really gotten a run yet, so. Okay, unscored. Comfy second. I like the sounds of that. All good right, good I will, I will be watching hour. Khan Academy videos on math to figure out what E is and implementing it myself. Wonderful. All right, good luck. This is the perfect wheel opportunity. I'm not fooling it yet. There's no need to fool it. Destroying some dookie goes crazy, but wait, 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 wait. No, destroy, destroy the dookie. The dookie must be destroyed. And we go next. You're giving us 15 mult polychrome joker. Are we getting a 9K? I would say easily with bells on, as they say. And then we... We play the greatest. I mean, first off, okay, hang on one second. You get out of here, become a, become a different card. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Couldn't have done it without you. We play this, a beautiful flush with a little Fibonacci support. We need help though. <laughs> we could always sell cards for campfire. One dollar for each nine in our deck. <clears throat> Mm 
Okay, well, like, and it's times 1.5. Probably should have bought the Mega Buffoon pack first. Alas, we go next. Now we can we can play anything. Tarot me. Good tarot. Lovers, I mean, does seem nice, but am I crazy to think that this is not my uh it's not my tempo? Emperor? I will be using a lover's card because Emperor needs the space. We eliminated some red cards. Let's make the remaining red cards wild, even though our principal impetus for that is now gone. Gold me? What do you want me to discard? Kings? I could I could easily be swayed to do this. And then Gold, always believe in your soul. You have the power to know you're indestructible. Always believe it. Okay, rank me. That didn't give me as many points as I thought it would, just to be clear. <laughs> Don't screw me on this one. Don't... Oh, I should be at the very end, but don't don't break it, bro. Don't break it. It shows not to break. I appreciate that. <clears throat> okay. Cards and packs. 25% off. We go for that. We're going to rebuild this run. I promise it to you. We're going to do our best at least. At least... Polychrome something to justify its existence. You've broken my heart. We go next. So basically, forget about... Get into Endless right now. Get to the end of the ante and then figure out how you're going to scale from there. Fibonacci might be relevant. Now let me look at my distribution here. Full deck. We're still going like spades or clubs. Let's go clubs right now because they have the highest scoring cards. What did you want me to discard? Sixes. Sixes. Understood. Let's go clubs again. Hierophant. Two bonus cards. Sort suit me. David Spade be like I'm shooting a new show. Just suit me. Directed by Tim Gunn. Um, why don't you guys get bonused up? I hate to use my last discard. But it's a good one. <laughs> it is a good one. <laughs> okay. We might even let me look at this for a second. Put these put these down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We don't seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we don't. Eight, nine, ten, Jack Queen. We don't. <laughs> close. Very close. Am I crazy? Eight, nine. Yeah, because it, it has to be spades to get through there. It has to be spades. We don't have we don't have a straight flush. There's no straight flush. So we play 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, because those are our best cards. Yeah. <clears throat> All straights contain a 10 or a 5. You just blew my mind. It's absolutely right, isn't it? Do we really not have three of any... We do have three of a suit. We do. Any straight has a, a 5 or a 10. What do you mean, not true? What about King Ace 1, 2, 3? That doesn't work in this game. Hey, McFly, those things don't work on water. And a 
next round. Cards previously played are debuffed. That sucks because I am debuffing or I'm playing a lot of cards. <laughs> That's bad. But this is good. I hate to say it, we kind of got to let these glass cards fly. Someone in chat said, oh. Ace, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Ace, one, two, three, four works. One day we're going to learn the lesson, okay? I feel like some people, you know, when they're wrong in Balatro, in backseating, what they think is like, oh, I just won't be wrong next time. You're so close. What you sh the lesson you should learn is that these games are complicated. So if you say something, you know, either make sure you're right or dial down the condescension a little bit. Don't start your messages with imagine. Or something like that. Now let me think about this for a second, okay? Or just shut up and watch the numbers go up and then drop a pog in chat, man. We are going to need some multiples at some point. I hate to do it because wheel is the, is the sexy option. Now I know what you're thinking. Riff Raff is good. The problem is, it's very nice to sell the Jokers. But that means we're basically running like two jokers we don't care about, which is really going to inhibit our score. What you really want to do is get super cheap tarot cards, uh, like packs. I guess not packs, but super cheap tarot cards in the shop. Buy them and sell them. And at some point, if you get the doubled discount voucher, you can buy tarots and planets for one and then sell them for one. Which would go pretty hard. Like, this is, this is a reasonable play right here. Buy and use Hermit. Buy tower, sell tower. We'll just probably buy and use Hero Font, because I think we're still going to make it, but it's going to be close. Squammy do, squammy do. We do have four of a kind threes. <laughs> but... Tarot card is... That's 13 mult, bro. That's 13 mult. I think I'm a simple man. Send something like that down Main Street. Oh, plus Fibonacci. True. Okay. Definitely, like, the time has come to start figuring out what we do. Let's probably not buy blanks. <laughs> These is certainly not what we're looking for. There's no one in a deck of cards. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Eight with the red seal. That's compelling, man. It is compelling. Sure. I would buy and sell because things are getting spooky. And we're competing. What do you want me to discard? You want me to discard nines. Okay. Let's molt up our spades. We're, we're angling for a big flush there. Discard all clubs. You still want me to dump nines. For money. All that for a little bit of money. That's a wild boy. It's our last discard. That was not as good as I wanted it to be. <laughs> ah! um, no, no, we're okay, because watch this. We play the worst two pair of all time and are asked to leave the establishment, but the Red Seal 8 plus Fibonacci kind of takes it to a, a new level, and then we play a Flush of Spades and we're straight chilling, bro. We don't even need this. We don't even need to play a Flush of Spades. We could just be like, guess what, buddy? 10. It's not even high card, it's just a 10. This this definitely seems like it's it's cooked though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> buffoon me? I don't know. I don't know. At some point we got like you. It's just it, like we need everything and then everything sucks. Maybe you could add a nine to my deck. 
Molted seven. Tens and fours. Nah, bro. I don't think we'll be playing that. All right, all right. Um, we may die. Let me see here. This is a this is trouble. There's a joker that lets you play ace two one three four. That would be very surprising to me. That would be surprising. <laughs> I'm not saying it's demonstrably false. There's a lot of stuff in this world that I don't know, but uh, I would be a little bit surprised to find that there is a joker that allows you to play ace two, one, three, four, or ace one, two, three, four. <laughs> no, hang on, I need, I need you for now. There is four fingers as the joker. <clears throat> we have a literacy crisis in this country, people. Local Thunk, are you here? Can you can you help us out? Blue Seal, not gonna save us. Hex, certainly not gonna save us. I mean, if we're if we're living our whole life going for Fibonacci, then sure, two enhanced aces is something. Don't destroy my wild queen. It's fine. It destroyed a nine. That's that's ruthless, man. Currently plus forty malt. Saved temporary. So kind of saved. Okay, hang on. So this is an improvement, and then we can find something to replace you with as well. Okay, you know what? Just to get you off my back, it's a buy and a sell in this house. We go next. One in seven cards get drawn face down. I missed the part where that's my problem. But brother, tarot cards are so valuable. <laughs> I know what you do. You play this first, knowing that it must be a flush. Or it is likely to be a flush. And then you draw other wilds or other spades. That then in theory, allows you to play this. Hanged Man cuts two more cards. Maybe we won't cut them just yet. Um, let's not make something glass. We should just in case we want to use it to buy a tarot card from the shop. Okay, you know what? Glass up this queen. I know it's a little crazy. Play this Andrew right here. Hang on, we got we got something happening. We don't need erosion to pop until next round. Like we, if we can get like a fool card to work with Hanged Man, then we got we're we're cooking something special. Retrigger all card held in hand abilities. We got a couple steals, but I don't think it's worth a Joker spot, though it pains me. Destroy some cards, please. Negative to a random joker. Minus one hand. So I think we just got to go polychrome Andrew on this one. Hand size scares me, honestly. Although it's getting pretty easy to make flushes. Nah, man. Oh, you're right. I get two. Can we can we polychrome uh, like a, a mult card or would that overwrite? Bro typed immolate. It's not in the it's not in the pack, my dude. It's not in the pack. So it got polychrome. That's that is huge. We can't destroy an ad. We really don't want the <sighs> Fine. You keep your secrets. It's gotta be well, it didn't have to be done, but we did it. <laughs> Now we have space, 50 chips. I mean, honestly, this is like a buy, hold, and then sell it and disable the boss blind. That's something. What are we cooking up here? I'm sorry to do this to a bonus card, but it must be done. 
And straight up, what do you want you to discard Jax? I think I'm just going to play this flush, knowing a spade flush. Even though we lose the steel card, a spade flush would take us to the moon. Not that we necessarily even need to go to the moon, but... Is he nine building? No, I got straddled with this guy. I mean, saddled. <laughs> Just so you know, selling Luchador only works on the boss blind. That's incredible intel. And let me, Wolfski has the backseater pass. I accept that backseating. You, you have the right of first refusal. It's like when I submit my self questionnaire to YouTube about whether or not I said the F word in a video. Now, you, I, previously YouTube was like, we don't trust you. Now they're like, we trust you. So they just monetize it right away. And they say, don't give us anything to take away the privilege. So every time Chibli starts a video by saying, what deck are we allowed to use? But with his New Zealand accent, it sounds like he's talking about someone, something fallacious, shall we say. I have to restart the slash marker to get it to capture something else. But, but we love our Chibli folks. We do, we do indeed, we do. We do people, we do. This is a... I'm fibonacci out of my fucking gourd, bro. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. 1097, 1097. There are four lights. Give me more spades. All right, never mind. I guess I'll settle for a club. No more discards! No more discards! Okay. Check it out, little bro. <laughs> it's the worst hand I've ever seen. Incredible. <laughs> it's hard to play Balatro and watch Balatro at the same time. Listen, I bet there's like more than a thousand people doing that as we speak. That being said, you the trick to not getting mind flooded is making sure that you start the game with their music in sync with yours. Otherwise, you'll get wave destruction as a result of the squams clashing. So you just have to buy, uh, launch and then close the game and launch and close the game and launch and close the game until the music lines up. And as soon as it lines up, oh baby, you're going to the moon. Synced squams. I honestly think we're in a penny saved is a penny earned territory here. I have to be on the boss and then sell him. But if I if I have to go to the boss and then sell him, then I'm gonna draw one less card one time. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair, bro. Oh, never mind. They hooked us up. They thought about that. Very clever. Very clever. That's, you know what? Local thunk. They knew what. Ten times local thunk understood the assignment. Well played. I had the video essay halfway in the can already. Shows what I know. Beautiful. Hmm. A beautiful setup. Well, okay. Anti-8 is looking pretty good. Getting to 128 million. We're gonna need... <laughs> you're gonna need some extra sauce. I mean, plus one hand size, kind of nice to hold for now. I will, I will lower my ante, give me more time to scale here. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get to the ease, bro. We're gonna try. Squammy do, squammy do do, squammy do do. We're playing club flush, bro. Mandalorian voice, this is the way. His name isn't the Mandalorian, it's Gal Gadot, okay? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson? Dummy. Hierophant. I think I'm still a Hierophant respecter. Okay. I'll play fucking spades then, bossy. 
What do you want from me? Aces discarded? You're gonna go to, uh, I'd rather have the, the molt on this one, my friend. I'd rather have the molt. You're gonna bonus me? Listen, I'll t 30, 30 chips, 30 chips? I wipe my ass with 30 chips, okay? I am not a bonus respecter. You do? Yeah, and then I eat them. Nah, this is uh, it's snake oil. Actually, it might be kind of sick for like a minute here. <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> red seal. I mean, red seal on a polychrome card is mighty tempting. That's fantastic. Four fingers lets you play ace, one, two, three, four. Plus two. I'm going to plus two you on that one. <sighs> Question is, like, blue seal is not what we need. Ouija comes with a downside. It lowers the size of our hand, which I don't want to do because I, I mean, I just don't want to do it. It's going to make us use more discards. I might be inclined just to add, like, a gold seal to to a card that we play a lot, you know? Like a wild card, it's kind of minor. Like it's not like a force multiplier, but it's something. And listen, the plus one hand size we're using to get flushes, so we can use four fingers for the time being. Clubs give you more molt. I mean, it's plus 10 molt by itself. We do play a lot of wilds. Might be something we gotta think about, man. Might be something we gotta think about. I don't know. I think it clears four fingers at least. Or maybe it finally gives us a good it gives us a good opportunity to get rid of mail in rebate. Finally, okay. Huge. We do not want to turn things into diamonds, so we that's a buy sell in this household. We go next. We go next, 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 next. We go next and next, next. We go next, we go next. That's coming out on Spotify tomorrow. Club flush with, with a little Fibonacci sauce. Okay, 97,000. We got a long way to go. <laughs> Lover's card. Very nice. Let's see Paul Allen's Lover's card. What's the highest so far? Corey needs a Texas Instruments calculator to express his score. So Corey is in first right now. But we got a chance here with this. Like, this is a very nice joker for us to have. Now, here's the question. Okay, at some point, we need all of our jokers to be pulling in the score direction, okay? I feel like, obviously, we're selling one times 1 1.5 for times 3, which is, you would have to be an idiot not to take this decision. The catch is, would we get a higher score by dropping Four Fingers or Fibonacci? Fibonacci at least gives molt. Four fingers gives no score. So at some point, it has to go. This at least is giving us great score. So I, I think we got to put the trust in our deck. That we know what we're doing. Just suck me, Obelisk. I'm not, we're not doing that. We're not doing Joker stencil either. <laughs> okay. And we love clubs. Clubs are what we love. Fibonacci, I thought it re-triggered. That's not right. Never mind. Fibonacci, it, if we're going to get to 700 million, <laughs> which let's pump our brakes a little bit, but that's what we're here for. You know, we're not just, it's nice to get some decent runs. Don't get me wrong, but that's what we're here for. If it's going to happen, we really need to, we, we, we need everything to be scoring. We need everything to be re-triggering. 
There's a lot of stuff we need. You're at times 2.5. Give me one more. I mean, come on. You give me 18 bucks for free? I'm taking that any day of the week. The hand is scoring. Now, so you're not a club, unfortunately. Uh, you know what you do? Play your club flush, and then you always have that polychrome Andrew just waiting at the end anyway. Mama Liz's $18 chili oil? I guess we won't be getting a tarot card then. That was that hand was too good. <laughs> Why are you buying and selling tarot? So they, they, that's a good question. Campfire gets times 0 0.5 molt for every card sold. Come on, man, really? So we're buying and selling tarot cards or planet cards that are not good for us to get the molt crunching. Only for this ante, yes, and then you got to do it again. It's just tempting, but I feel like I mean, we're getting 48 molts out of erosion. If we're evaluating flash card versus that, it's going to take a lot of money for us to to make that pop. I think I got a simmer on that one. We don't have enough kings to make this worthwhile. Bonus chips do not pog me up anymore. I'm sorry, a random joker doesn't pog me up anymore. It's just the way of the world, folks. We go next. And we always, why do we always compete? Could two tarot cards be better? Why are we competing? Because we, we love to have more shops. And we get lots of interest, okay. Hanged man, still the tarot card of our dreams. Hang on, there's something to this, man. <laughs> That was pretty good. And there were some times that this run, it seemed like we were going to get destroyed. So I, I appreciate it. Now listen, buddy. Listen. This is a tough decision. Hanged man pogs us up. It's what we have to take. But I'm not destroying a wild card with a gold seal. And I'm not destroying any of these bonus cards. So it's got to be clubs, even though we got glutton as Joker. It could be glass card, but the glass card kind of destroys itself. Give me some Jupiters to act more stupider. And we go next. No, 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 no. Don't, don't lie to the poor folks. Your ghost lamp the most be like... We'll go club flush. And if it wins... You know what? I think it will come so close to winning, although order does matter. I want this. And we're going to need to glass this son of a gun up at some point. You know what? You're not doing anything else. You're not doing anything else with your time. Why don't you come over? If you get destroyed, I'll accept it. I'll just level with you. I don't know where anything is, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> so you're still fine where you are. You can go here. You're still fine. Where it, they, it actually did like a completely trivial move. Like, I don't think it mattered at all. Now it's... Uh, so now shit's 50% off, which means tarot cards we can buy and sell for a dollar, bro. Now the question is... Or for zero. But the question is, do we sell a freaking Joker to try to get... Like, to have a Joker spot. Now, why would you do that instead of just selling tarot cards? Because I got to spend a lot of money on rerolls to get tarot cards to show up in the shop because I don't have the vouchers. So I think we, we may be at that point. We may have reached that point. I'll level with you. Give me two tarot cards. Let's see how we're doing here. And then give me another Jumbo Arcana. We're going to start with the pop-in on this one. Mult, times mult, times mult. We only have, the thing is, we only have this 10 mult from this. And what's our flush at? 
16 molt. Okay, so that's 26 molt times 1.5 times 3 times a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we could probably dump Fibonacci. <laughs> oh, right. Erosion gives us 60 molt. <laughs> Um, we could save lovers to put it on a better card. I don't really care about strength. That's that's a sellable joker. Sell Fibonacci. Wait, but, but, but sell Fibonacci. Fool is the emperor. Sell Fibonacci. Watch this. Sell Fibonacci. Wheel of Fortune hits campfire. I'm not gonna come. Um, and now we got a joker spot. So we simply buy you, sell you, buy you. I'll roll one more time. Buy you. I will probably keep you. We go next. Okay. Okay. So what are we looking for? 700 million? <laughs> None of these cards, uh, IMO, are good enough to justify becoming wild. But you could. Can I molt a wild? No, it's got to be a seal, right? Like you can't be. Okay, it's, it has to be a sealed card. I understand that now. Or foil. Okay, or foil. Yeah, good idea. Trigger uh, double trigger on the ace for no reason. Well, we still got there. Brother, this is the right time. You or you should be you should become wild because we have less hearts. And then any non-affected clubs should become molted. I mean <laughs> You're probably gonna... Oh, you can't be... Okay, well, I guess... Guess what? Get lucky, bro. It's something. It's not a lot, but it's something. This this pisses me off. And then look at this. It's free money, bro. It's... F oh, don't hit ballot. This is, the, this is what's wrong with human beings. I know I say this every time. We're always like... Oh, the worst case scenario would be if it hit ballot. No, the worst case scenario would be if it freaking hit nothing, bro. There you go. No, it's not. I, it looks like the way. It's not the way. You're doing times three molt already, so we're straight chilling. You're 18 flat molt. I like the idea of ballot. Nah, it's not going to trigger anything that useful. Okay, just, just take some extra multi for now and we go again. I said we go again. Yes. 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 <clears throat> it is it's always nice and life affirming to see the uh, to see the flames. Now we don't have that many twos, threes, fours, or fives. But at some point, you do have to consider that to get a billion points, you need re-triggers. So I don't know. All you got to do is get 1,000 times your current score and you're in there. But listen, 1,000, that's only like, what, like 15 doublings away? <laughs> it makes it sound way harder. I, I thought for sure it was going to make it sound way easier. That's way worse. Give me these tarot's, bro. Sell me. Sell me. Use me. Sell me. That was not a necessary... So oh, actually it is. IMO? God, a death card would be like so much better if we could just get it to actually hit on something here, man. Um, 
like something another wild card is is something but we need something with seals we i think we just have to take hack just to try it out okay just just to give it a chance it triggers on twos threes fours and fives but no ones which is crazy when you think about it it is people it is so this is not going to be a good example of hack at all still a great hand Okay, this is anti-10. Oh, we're cooked. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> Buy me, sell me, sell me, seltzer. And then, I mean, we're, we're kind of going like all in to, I mean, are we really gonna hit 71 billion right now? Probably not. <laughs> But there's there's something to it here. No, 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 no. That's, that's not. This is not the way. This is not the way. So you're quite expensive rerolls. <clears throat> Discard me. Hold me. High priestess. Honestly, that's a use. And then two cells. Past Acrobat. Oh no, Rip. Poor guy. Or girl, now that I think about it. I'm not really familiar with how things work in the circus these days. You know what's crazy? Like, everybody has days where they don't want to go to, like, their job. But, like, it's easy enough for me. I just kind of sit down and play some video games. Maybe ban a couple of people. If you're in Cirque du Soleil, that's got to suck ass, bro. <laughs> Can you imagine? You're like, oh, I really don't want to go to work today. And then they're like, oh, no big deal. Some dude four times larger than you is just going to throw you 100 feet through the air into like a tiny tube. <laughs> and then, then you're going to get out and walk... Uh, like on your hands instead of your head, walk up to somebody in the audience and then like contort your spine backwards and tilt your head and look at them upside down and then make a sound like a baby crying. No, thank you, bro. Couldn't be me. Please. Oh, that's, be that's better. It could have hit seltzer. We do need a glass card. Club me. Long gong were the days that she clubbed me. Stars card, easiest sell of my entire life. Justice card. I'm gonna say go ahead and glass me next time. Glass the eight. No, I don't want it to break yet, bro. I'd be scared. Fifteen molt. No thanks, bro. We don't have any of our super cards. So this is another deletion. Corey's got 2.544 E11. Am I crazy? That doesn't seem that good. Two point five four four. That's a pretty small number. E eleven. This is a trillion points. <laughs> Playing a flush sets your money to zero. Uh, we should be fine. Just be careful. That's a trillion, my dude. <clears throat> Let me go blind. I don't need to see the price tag anyway. We will not be playing freaking flush this year. Don't hit seltzer. Yay! Plus 10 molts. It's not that good, but it's, it is something. How about like a pair of sixes? <laughs> With a pair of queens on the end, dipped in Mama Liz's full house oil. That polychrome should be on the end for sure, but. Okay, that's fine. I'll be honest with you guys. 
I don't think we're going to get 2.54e to the 11. We have to take baseball. <laughs> we do. Because baseball is going to... We don't need the flat molt from this. It's a maximum of 30 molts. Whereas we already get 72 from erosion. Cut cloud nine. Cloud nine is going to enable our baseball. You're fraudulent. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. I, I do want planet cards to appear more frequently because it's easier for us to um, buy planets and then sell them to enable campfire. Don't cook me on this one. Listen, clubs aren't even bad. Anything that makes us use less discards is probably good. If we could turn our best cards into clubs, or even turn hearts into clubs, I think we'd be chilling. And by chilling, I mean not getting 2.544e times to the power of 11, but still feeling pretty good. <laughs> Corey really said, hang on, I'm going to go Avogadro mode, huh? Discard, discard, discard. Fool card. Very potentially valuable. That's a pair. <laughs> Polychrome, you're not polychrome, never mind. <clears throat> I like how Corey said he's the worst. He's just having a laugh, man, in the court of the king. Nothing too serious about it. I did like when Malf said he was going live for the participation trophy in the Balatro Tournament of Shame. And then he uh, scored 8 billion points and the next closest person got 20 million. <laughs> I was like, that to me is disrespectful. The man with 250 hours in the demo saying he's going live for the participation trophy. He might be here. C come on, Malf, stand up, take a bow. We need to play our best cards. Probably this will be a part of it. So we're going to play Heart Flush with a spade in hand or with a steel in hand. And you go to the very end, and it's going to trigger twice. Okay, we're cooked. Two steals in hand. And a tarot card that saves our life. Imagine. They have to be better cards. They have they have to be enhanced in some way. Okay. Well, if you, so you can smoke them, if you got them, I used the wrong card. Uh, that's fine. We can still convert them to clubs. <laughs> My mistake. Um, probably could have finagled a straight flush. Actually, would have been sick. I bought twelve Neptunes as I always do. Imagine. Or I could have... Oh, that was the last hand. <laughs> All right. Not a new high score. We, I think we got maybe one to two more in us. Next run. We go again. So start me with the yellow build. It's, it's frictionless. It's easy to play. Double my money. Give me a polychrome Andrew immediately. Pretty understandable full house opportunity here. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And then we still have five, six, seven in hand. Four, five, six, seven. We, we take those. <clears throat> we take those. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, brother. It's that easy. Why are the diamonds orange? 
You are a rare breed of chatter. This is the color that they are. Must play five cards! I think what's happened is maybe you've played so much on compatibility mode that now the normal diamonds look busted for you. Which is fine, by the way. No disrespect intended. Hey, uh, check this out. Square Joker plus four fingers. That's a cool little synergy at the start. You know, is it going to get us to a trillion points? Fucking chill out, bro. We're on... Uh, Anti two. <laughs> so none of these are like. Well, actually, some of them are late game potential. Let's let's throw a steel in here. Maybe gives us something to duplicate later. Let's go spectral. All cards get converted to a random suit or add a red seal. Love red seal, um, but with no negatives, that's super nice. And you know what? We're going to be fine for a while here, I think. So let's just chill. Let's, let's build up our econ again. And every hand should have four cards. In fact, we should try not to win too early. Like, just throw some dookie at it. At the, at the cost of our econ, I'll admit. And now we lay the hammer down. We're doing we're doing something. These chips will possibly matter later in the game, bro. Like a lot later. But later nonetheless. It's horrible for our econ. Send it. But maybe we'll just. I don't know. Not worry about it. <laughs> Flush is probably going to be too good, huh? Well, in that case, what if you played freaking two pair again? Send it down Main Street? I actually, now that I think about it, I think we're being stupid. I think we need to win early enough to get enough money to buy a Joker that gives us flat malt. And then we're chilling. Then we can scale to our heart's content. That's not going to happen here, though, unless we get a judgment. Justice. Just, justice. 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 Bonus hearts. I almost clicked reroll. Base chips are, are freaking halved, bro. That's a problem. Don't. I don't want to die. <clears throat> Turns out the game was rigged from the start. Um, we may wish... We, we have to get big hands. We have to get like a full house. Then that is halved, but then it's at least multiplied by 1.5. <laughs> we need bigger hands. Um... Straight has a four. Brother, I only see one way out of the jam. And it's there are four nines. Please, God. I've never asked you for much. That's just tough. It's tough luck. Flint kind of destroyed us there. I think we were we were cooking something long term, but whatever. We go next. Hmm. Was that a Star Trek reference? That's what people tell me. Unfortunately, would have been a great opportunity for a fool card, or uh, sorry, a hermit card. Increase the rank of two Andrews. Four threes in the deck now. Maybe this is a hack build. <laughs> I got one tarot card and I'm like, okay, here's the plan. We fight for it. Maybe this is a hack build. That's a very nice start.
We have five threes. Guess what, brother? We got six threes. Coincidentally, that's how tall I am. <clears throat> now, 22 bucks in our pocket. This is a very interesting shop. Free tarot cards for a while with 50 chips. Very nice. Uh, let's go spectral pack immediately in case it's one of the spectrals that destroys a joker. Add a purple seal or add two, get two enhanced aces. Enhanced cards are going to be very relevant. They destroyed a king and gave us two steel aces. Well, <laughs> okay. Listen. For now, Arrowhead gives us easy spade chips, and then Shoot the Moon at least gives us the ability to uh, generate flat mults. This hand is a cruel joke. And then I think just use every planet you get. Dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it. We could always play a flush. It, it wouldn't be my first priority. Just kidding. And then, like, if, if this is going to leave us way too low on score, which it isn't, we could farm spades. But I think we're, we're chilling. I think we're chilling. Especially, oh, but the queen's going to be debuffed. But uh, alas. Yeah, we're totally fine. <clears throat> we go next. I got plays here. Two bonus cards. We don't have to use it yet. I don't know why I was freaking out. <laughs> why don't you just give me like a full suite of discards? That seems good enough. And then we'll probably pop the ante and go die. It gives us one less hand. That's okay. Pop the ante. Uh, okay, we are mild, mildly synergistic affect here. One tarot card per round is kind of nice, obviously. We select world card. Hmm, I suppose I don't mind. Queens in hand as well. Okay, listen. 2.77 times E to the power of 14. Me personally, I think that's a long shot. But if we ever had a chance, I mean, we're... <laughs> if we ever had a chance, lads, maybe that... Why not us, right? Why not now? Easiest emperor in all of my days. Although more queens would go crazy. But you know what? No, no, build the molt first. And then fool me. It gives me another emperor if I, if I use... No, if I sell the moon. Hmm. No, 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 no. You don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Stay in school. Use it. What are we cutting from the deck? We're cutting diamonds. Sorry, your swag is too orange. You will be now removed from the deck. Then we use another Emperor. Convert a heart into a wild. A star can turn the wild into a diamond. And then another Emperor card. Now that was pretty good for Fortune Teller. Clubs me. Imagine, bro. Imagine, imagine. That's fine. We go next. Actually, they prefer spades. Oh, that's fine. Why did I play four cards? I won. <laughs> <clears throat> I won. All right. Um, very nice. See what we're getting in the tarot card packs here. It gives us Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Listen, boys. If there was ever a time, next time, next time, next time, next time, that's a guarantee. 
Next Joker becomes negative. Yes. We, we are skipping tarot cards, though, but will we have enough money? Will we have enough money? Will we have enough money to buy a negative Joker? Skip a tarot. It's the right play. It's the right play to ensure it. Now, I'm a simple man. <laughs> yes! Corey, 2.577, E to the power of 1700. Get ready, okay? The rock is in the building. That's what Jay-Z says. Now, what freaking hands are we playing? We're playing spade flushes for the time being. But we eventually want to play five of a kind. Or flush five. Look at this sexy motherfucker right here. Worst... I mean, it is four molt with, like, no downside, but... Certainly not what I was looking for. <laughs> I guess it's not, it doesn't destroy our run, so there is that. Huge, huge plays. Brother, <laughs> how could I not? How could I not? More queens of spades would be something. We could create a random joker as well. Are we, you know, how many jacks we got in this joint? The thing is, we're probably going to get rid of shoot the moon at some point. So I don't think you commit to it. Fuck it, bro. Oh! <laughs> I don't have another of the space. You don't leave it a gap. Okay. You unfortunately, I have to use you for something in order to increment this lad. So we will, and then we use this, and then four of a kind's kind of nice. Spade flushes. This is the way for now. Now listen, these we're good. We're ten x in one hand. It's pretty good. This is good. This is good. We need we need econ, bro. You know, we need temperance jokers to get us off the ground. Cuz hermit it's not it's not doing the trick right now. Let's uh let's steal up this Andrew. I mean, that's like a little synergy there to begin with. And then uh let's wild up you. What's the negative joker? I wasn't here. I I swear I am not being rude or facetious when I say this. It is the Joker. It is the plus four mults joking Andrew, as we call him, round these parts. I'm, I don't want to scare you this time. No, it's okay. I Can somebody explain what E is? It's the constant that is defined by pi over the speed of light. All I know is that when you see E, you move on to the next round. And Corey saw E, so... Okay. He'll be moving on to the next round uh, in first place, almost mm, assuredly. I don't know, brother. I got I got some pretty good jokers lined up here. I think he scored, what was it, like uh, trillions or hundreds of trillions? It could take like, so long to calculate that we may not know who won <laughs> until much, much later. Maybe even tomorrow morning. It was 10 trillion, apparently. 10 trillion. Um... Yeah, that's that's. But the good news is you're still in second. Okay. Uh, Chip and Sin have not. They've not really scored a run even close. So you're sitting comfortable. But Dan pulled out a 20 plus mil run on his final second. So anything can happen. You might want to improve that score a bit just to be safe. Oh, it's happening. Don't even worry about it. It's happening. I believe in you. Good luck. This one's for Canada. This one's for you, Duke Kaboom. More polychrome jokers, and it's over for them. Oh, you are my god! <laughs> That's huge, bro! And I'm playing flushes. 
and possibly we should look at Mars as well for now. Please don't write out Corey's score long form. It's very disheartening. <laughs> sure, why not? Hmm, what am I gonna do with you? I should create, what are we missing? We're missing twos, nines, fives, eights, and jacks. Wow, we're missing nines and yet we're not missing, no, that's, <clears throat> excuse me. We're missing kings and twos. All right. There you go, laddie. We're not, shoot the moon is, is old tech. I'm sorry to tell it to you, but it's true. We're not creating more queens. This this will leave for a a joker that is easier for me to understand at some point. No shot. Okay, that's a nice one. Mega Arcanomy. Emperor is very nice. Destroying hearts is very nice. Obviously, steel matters long term. We choose two. Okay, you know what? Get cooked. Give me another two of these. Empress and Death. I love it. That's that's very nice. This is not what I thought it was. I don't know why I thought this was another another pack. And you know what? Celestial packs having flushes will really help us out. Because that'll be one of the ways we can scale our mults. Okay, okay. There's a there's a chance, bro. There's a chance. Simple as, get molted on. I'm not using death yet. If anything, we could duplicate a more valuable card. Maybe like a steel ace. We gotta think very, very long term about this. Because I mean, we're, we're gunning for trillions. <laughs> mm, that's probably not gonna be super relevant for us, huh? Celestial Pack will have a Joker though. Duping some Steel will be the play. Tavern's the play. Tavern's the play. Judgment. Sorry, Queen. You're probably toast as well, but alas, it is what it is. Suit me. What do you think, Boys Club Flush? I mean, the ace was... A pair just won it for us. Okay. <laughs> you could literally play anything. You could do whatever you want. Minus one anti, minus one discard around. Yeah! <laughs> Yay. We could, I'm still saving you for the time being. Don't, don't even talk about the wheel, bro. Don't even talk to me about the wheel. You can't be multed. Um, and you know what? Talk to me about the wheel, boys. Talk to me. I'll live with that. The real, the real gem was the molt there anyway. We don't need a smeared joker. They disappoint me. How about adding a great enhanced card to our deck? How about you uh, suck me? And we go one ante down. Okay. Oh, but I can't. I'm missing a tarot card as a result of my actions. It's fine. You're going wild mode. We live with this. I should have duped the steel. No, we could get a seal on a steel and then dupe the sealed steel. It's all right. We're still chilling. Not necessary. Trash is, is dookie. But we've got to level up. The whole reason we came back was to give our ourselves more chance to scale. Next round, send me. Empress, still pretty good. Two discards is, a, is an issue, especially because we've only got three hands, which normally would be like 50% more than I'm used to working with. Imagine how much I could get done. What do you think? Are we seeing E on this one? Are we seeing the pearly gates? I would settle for a billion. I haven't gotten to a billion yet. How about an enhanced Andrew? Polychrome Andrew uh, getting duped. Yes. 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 
That must, that's what we need to turn things into. And they've given us a beautiful opportunity immediately. It would be nice if it was a spade, don't get me wrong. Yeah, we can work with it. We, we got a lot going on here. This is still very, very nice. Back, back to the 10x. I have a, I have a, a whole game plan. I got a whole ass game plan for you. Greatest joke or, or greatest voucher of all time. I got a whole game plan for you, okay? First, we double our money, and then we double our money. We have to destroy something. I'm, I'm saving this. I'm telling you. Oh, can I? Can I? You're right. Maybe this is the way. But then it's going to give us another. Oh, but then that's good. I get to ex execute my plan. <laughs> give me the fool. Hold this world card. I'm telling you, there's, there's tech here. Sell this piece of garbage. Certificate of authenticity. You want to see some new tech fresh out the freaking dungeons of Balatro? Watch this. Oh, a seal card. Don't mind if I do. Uh, guess what? You're a spade now, too. <laughs> oh, baby. Um, straight up, we're discarding because there's no reason for us to not make more money on this one. Wow, I've never seen that before. Listen, buddy. Okay, get out of here with your glib with your glib such and suches. You're being glib. Imagine? No, it's not the right time. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the right time. We need, a, we need a better, more Kaiser Permanente Joker for that. How about a great card? I got a level with you? They're not good enough. They're good. Don't get me wrong. I didn't say they're not good. They're not good enough. Guess what? You're now wild? Right. That's not how that works. Which means we can play you. Oops. Obviously, <sighs> Cardamancer is freaking cruising. I really don't want to get rid of Cardamancer for no reason. We could, I mean, Arrowhead has given us 50 chips plus 50 chips on spades. That's not even that big of a deal. How'd you gulp like that? It hurt. It hurt a little bit. I think certificate goes. And then... I guess the question is, what is our molt? Our molt is usually... Like, would we rather multiply our molt by three? Or add another 50 and then multiply it by another, like, 105? Well, why did, why did, that's 150, bro. You forgot math. <laughs> that's true. At the start, maybe we could double our, our tarot cards. And then move. That's, that's crazy tech. Now listen, I don't think we need Hanged Man anymore. We, we got so few cards to get rid of. And we're, we're not, well, I guess we could, no, no, no. It, 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 listen, use your brain, bro. Okay, sell me. Next me. Base chips and molt are halved. We literally could not care less. We've removed you from the deck. We've used another tarot card. We turned a wild card into a heart. Literally, who cares? I don't care to you. We made a we made a steel card. We're making love out of nothing at all. And then we won. And then move it. <laughs> okay, okay. We're still gonna win in one hand, but. Then you move. That was with no. Who needs E, bro? We're going vanilla mode. 
Nah, snooze me on that. It's, money would be nice, don't get me wrong. It might be the right play. We need to play a flush five and a five of a kind so we can get the cards to start leveling them up. Listen, I'm, I know that this is going to mean we only generate one tarot, but death is like our most valuable tarot card. If we can create more spade polychromes, more steel cards, like that, that's the way. Money's on sale today. Now let's just do a little preview here. Club flush with no help. That takes us to 157,000. I gotta feel like maybe driver's license gets us there. Now this is what, please let me dupe my cool three. You piece of junk, man. You're a piece of junk. Money calling, hang on, I gotta get this. We go again. We have a cool three, but it's not my coolest three. So honestly, I say no. I say, I'm sorry. I say no. Money's calling. Blueprint doesn't copy polychrome. Oh, that would make sense then. One tarot card. I want to get rid of this death. This oh, that's the, this is the way and this is the play. That's why death card is so valuable. Okay, Andrew, show me what you got. Eight hundred and forty thousand on anti six. That's pretty solid. You're right, a, a hack joker would go insane. I'm not wasting my money, but I am moving you back. Start with zero discards, see if I care. Money calling, hang on, I gotta get this. Moon creates some clubs. Don't mind if I do. You come back here. Bro's got better APM than StarCraft 2. Corey? Corey? Get ready, brother. Everything's cheaper. Money's on even more sale. Death card. Death card. Death card me. No death card. Fool. He's just using the moon. How dare you? Lovers? I'd rather cut you. I'd rather cut you from the deck. I'd rather, I'd rather cut you from that. Although, no, no, no. I gotta, it's, this is the thinking man's, it's the thinking man's situation. Money's on sale. It also helps us scale tarot a little faster. Death me. Death card! Death card! Death card! <laughs> it sucks that it's not the, uh, the spades one, but still. Just having more of these is going to be helpful. No. This is now the only reason we are rolling is to try to get hack. It's the most obvious thing to help us out. Convert a card to hearts. I didn't move the, I didn't move the joker. I didn't move the joker, people. I've made an error. Whatever. Play four cards. Oh, I won. Nah, man. Well... <laughs> it's hard to fit it. It's, uh, it's pretty nice, too. It's hard to fit it. I think we have to pass. It's easier to make the threes spades, I think. Steal over tarot? Brother, have you lost your mind? Have you, have you lost? I got 67 times 1.5 attached to this. You've, you, I, no, no, no. Th this is the first one to go, okay? And then this one's leaving at some point, but not yet. We gotta worry. Right now, we're building up pressure in the bottle. You're the motherfucker who tosses one Mentos into the Diet Coke and you're like, let her rip. No, 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 no. You gotta build a device that then 
can put like a hundred Mentos in it. And then you go, zoom. Trust me. The pro- How am I going to add more steel cards, though, when I'm playing so many polychromes? Like, a polychrome is basically like a steel that you can play. You have 200 bucks? Yeah, that's not, like, relevant to the situation, officer. Steel cards stay in hand. But I'd rather draw... I'd rather draw 10 polychromes. You can have polychrome steel. Then they won't be flushes. It's already 2x. Okay, but where, where's, my, where's my chips coming from? That's my question for you. Where are my chips? I guess we're getting the, uh, 50 chips out of this on the first one. From planets. Well, okay. You know what? You sold me. We can recover from this if it goes terribly wrong. No, we don't want this. We don't, we don't want to buy tarot's now. That, that wasn't the Joker keeping us in the game. Mold to me, my friend. Steel goes last. You're right. Well, fortune teller should go first. And you're hollow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. You're right. You're right on that one. And when you're right, you're right. Just while we're here, I'm going to make you into a lucky Andrew. I guess it doesn't matter whether we play spades or clubs now. And I didn't even move the Joker. We still got 250,000. We'll take those. Tens and fours. I don't. Uh, we're not. We're not really cooking up that. We do have eleven threes in the deck, though. <laughs> Hack goes crazy here, bro. It goes insane. We don't buy it because then we lose the opportunity to get another tarot. Unless the tarot card is a card that we can't say no to. We need the voucher to make rerolls cheaper. Then I'm going to the freaking moon, bro. The best planets money could ask for. For everything else, there's MasterCard. We go next. Face cards are debuffed. It's a fucked up hand for that situation, bro. <laughs> if you crack the pack and it has a negative, it works. Chat, is this real? Yes, you're right then. I should be cracking packs, man. Uh, just hang on a second. <laughs> okay, very nice. Anti-8. Love to see it. You move back here. Plus one hand per round. Very relevant. Bro, the pack has hack on it. How could it not have hack in it? Wow! Negative baseball card? Even though we only got a couple on common Andrews, that's like an unbelievable pull, man. That, that Joker is like, it's one of the best Jokers in the game. That's a, like a one in a million chance. Not literally, of course. That would be insane. How about a chance to create some more Taros? We don't care about a blue seal. We're not destroying our Jokers. Two enhanced aces. It's a tough choice. Something we know... Well, no, 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 because no, we're going to delete it from our deck. Something we know... I'm going to keep around. So, we get to choose two? Oh, brother. <laughs> I don't know why I'm mad about getting more stuff. Imagine I clicked on the wrong one and got rid of all of my jokers. <laughs> Imagine. This is such a good save if we could convert one of our other threes. So what do we want to create more of? 
If anything, we want to create more threes. Thank you. Thank you for the intel. Thank you for the intelligence. I get, you're right. I guess we could just fish for it, bro. It's a great point. We could even fish for twos and make them into threes, and that would that would help us. My, my God. He's done it. I get. Why wouldn't you convert the other one? Eh, that's not a big deal. Squammy do, squammy do. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, well, whatever, bro. How about you suck on this? That's a great hand when they only want 50,000. I have to sell you. I'm sorry. Because I'm, I'm going to get two cards. What the heck are we doing? What, 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 there we go. <laughs> we will not be taking Bloodstone. We have like four hearts. Five of a kind's incoming soon. I hope so. I hope so. I'm sorry to do this. I think that has to be a sell. We got an archetype going. Here's an archetype for you, brother. That was not a disrespectful question, by the way, but... This is our archetype. How's that for an archetype? Okay, Seltzer is your, your 2.8 times 10 to the trillion. But you don't want it yet because it replaces a joker that can scale you and then you get seltzer later. We're not getting the, a, a quadrillion points on anti-8. We need, we need more time. We need more support. I wish I could fit you, brother. I, I do. I wish I could, but I can't. Wow! <laughs> I'm not buying this shit. It's going to break, bro. If that was a cabin dish, I, I still don't think I would take it, but I'm definitely not taking it in this situation. Forces a card to be selected. Well, this, this ain't so bad. Probably use temperance, but don't fool yet. See what you get off this. <laughs> oh, 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 imagine. No, no, you never get it on the first jump. Oh, you never get it on the second jump. The flames are rising higher and higher. Endless mode. Okay, the real game begins now. What was Dan's score? He was at like 28 million. Oh my god, money's on sale to the extreme. Can I get some tarot card packs, bro? The flames are soaring! I, I literally can't get to 23 million yet because like the blinds are not well I guess I could I could just get it in one hand but it's hard is what I'm trying to say any any hack any hack in the pack don't come back it's alright we got lots of room to play with oh I didn't move it no no Ah, it turns out it's okay. All right, I'm not crying. Lock in. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So you're right. This is this is some serious business. We gotta lock in here. I I gotta I, 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 it's, I okay. I'll tell you what, buddy. Money is not as relevant for us as flush scaling. Although we're trying to play five of a kind as well, but we need to have no uh, cards in here in order to get two cards off of that. Why not spend your money? So I'm just going to level with you. I think I'm not the best Balatro player on Earth, okay? But I think a lot of people... I don't think I can do it, man. I think it's a net negative. 
I think a lot of people are really bad at Balatro when it comes to money management. Like, they would rather just... Oh, you could just convert it to spades. That's true. <laughs> they would rather, like, at 200 gold, they're like, oh, I'm only making interest on 50. They would rather spend, like, 150 bucks on rerolls rather than, like, reroll four times and then have $190 for next round where you can buy stuff without having to pay five bucks for the reroll. Like, you gotta... I, don't get me wrong. We don't need to have 200 bucks. But... At some point, we need to go all in. We re-roll in a hack or something like that. You, you, it's, it's not about staying at the interest cap. Like, it's, you need to have a savings account pumping as well. You need an emergency fund. I would. Planets are free is kind of irrelevant for us. Four of a kind might be relevant. Death card. Worth saving. That's kind of like it's a win condition for us. Discard until you get to the Andrew you're looking for. I don't want to use it yet. You know what? You're right. Maybe it is sensible to just create another steel card. Should I should I turn this in? No, because it turns it. It doesn't just steal it. Should something be wild steel? <laughs> Can something be wild steel? <laughs> Discard more. All right, you know what? You're right, you're right. Maybe you're right, I don't know. You know what? You're trash. Become steel. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, fuck you. Get destroyed. It's so tempting for me to, to double a polychrome instead, but you know what? You raise a good point. We'll do it like that. No! Go back! <laughs> Blueprint, lock in! Lock in! Okay, buffoon me. Negative jokers. I'm not going times two molt on a flush. You can suck me. I need E molt on a flush. No negatives. You can suck me. All I want to see is hack. That's it, bro. No. No, we're not doing that. I don't think we'll be at zero dollars anytime soon. Extra large blind. Don't make me laugh. You would create a death card. Insane technology. Another death card. Should have discarded this first, just in case. Tower. Brother, get out of my face with that. Get out of my face with that tower. Blueprint! No! I did it in time! I did it in time! Come on, guys! Come on! Come on with that! <laughs> The next time that lock in lock in okay we gotta lock in this is not a joke bro plus one hand size emperor kind of goes crazy mode if you if you play judgment and it gives you a negative does it work give me death card strength tower you piece of crap no it does not okay noted thank you Useless Andy, welcome to the welcome to the call. Um, I mean, listen, I don't think it's like a huge deal, but you can at least molt me. Turn the aces into ones. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> Hack me. Hack. My nightmare is that I click one too many times too fast and just run right over it. Blueprint me. Just it. a glass card will be necessary at some point. Glass? What is glass override? Probably polychrome. Lock in. Thank you. <laughs> I almost didn't lock in. Oh, man. Bro's literally out here making like a... What do we care about a gold card? This is all for tarot. 
glass can have poly, it overwrites the bonus. Brother, that might... I mean, this... I don't want to lose this card from my hand, just to be clear. Or from... It still works. It's just the glass is shinier. Um, and the pen is mightier. I, it's necessary if we want to get the highest hand possible, which is essentially what we're rooting for. Yeah, I got a little scared there, so what? Glass foil? I'm not destroying my jokers. Give me a gold seal on a... This is the worst hand I've ever seen. I'm not even putting the gold seal on you because you're going to get red sealed at some point. I guarantee it. How about a good standard pack? Hack. Hack. Ah! Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. Now, it's got to be you. Though I appreciate the tarot cards you have given me, it has to be you. Yes, you're, I mean, you're a 150 mold by yourself. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you for everything. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Next Joker becomes negative. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Lock in. We're locked in. This We're, we're locked in as we speak. More taros, please. We're locked in. We're locked in. We're locked in. We're locked in. Maybe it is better on on the driver's license or on the baseball. It's still really good. What the heck? Times three molt on final hand of round? Sure. Planet cards in the consumable area? Yeah, sure. Let's try it on baseball next. Say business. <laughs> this is why you save your cash. Honestly, save your breath. The Bogleheads wouldn't understand, brother. We can actually buy tarot cards now, now that I think about it. Save some negative space. <laughs> Honestly, you might be you might be serious for all I know. And then we, we fish for greatness. Threes. Get out of my face. I hate you. Who cares about money? Emperor card. Don't mind if I do. Two bonus cards. Sure. Sell me. Sell me. Let's see what we're cooking with here. me. Ten million point hand. That's pretty solid. And you're right. We could do it on Acrobat. You're so right. Negative Joker in the buffoon pack. Imagine. Imagine. Okay, it is better on baseball. We figured it out. Better on baseball. I guess we got another uncommon too that changes the calculus. Money's on sale today. Hold the Jupiter in hand. So freaking true. Anytime I get a chance to hold Jupiter, we gotta go with it. So freaking true. I'm so true, even this acronym. Well, all red cards are are dusted. We're trying to draw spades, because that's where most of our groovy threes are. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Get bonused, my friend. You're getting dumped. Dumped, dumped, dumped. That's not a flush. Hold. I don't know what... 
what the fuck I'm doing here? <laughs> Just send it, man. It's gonna be good enough. I guess we can wait for the last hand. Lock in. There's there's too much locking in, man. I got like the janitor's key ring. I can't keep it straight. Twenty-seven milli. So true. So true. I do think we're we're gonna we're gonna cross Dan for for third overall. It's pretty. I don't know if we're going E though. We might just run out of time too. I think there's like less than ten minutes left overall. Play only one hand, bro. That's perfect for acrobat. It's perfect for Acrobat. We should always, like, this is our hand. Discard this trash. No disrespect to this three. Draw more polychrome Andrews. Fool card gives us a death card. My God. <laughs> My God, Niles! Fool card. Gives you a death card. Turn your worst card, probably you, into this. Blueprint? Blueprint's in the right position, right? One, two, three. What's 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5? Or should we, maybe you're right. Maybe it just goes harder on Acrobat. It's less than six. That's true. Three, 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 five. Keep a molt so that the molt gets molted. Discard these Andrews. Steals or threes? We got another steal. This is going to be, this is my chance to get to E, brothers. Baseball's better. Baseball's best. Okay. I'm trusting you on this one. I'm locking in. This is my best chance to get E'd. I can't follow this. It's 132 million point score. Okay, that's pretty good. We're not quite in the E territory yet. <laughs> nah, it's only threes, bro. It, we're just buying them for polychrome threes. Spend your money. You don't know what you're talking about. And the worst part is, you think you do. That's the worst part about all of it. We really want to get a Jupiter to hold in our hand. You think we could dump this Andy? I don't know. I mean, maybe it's, maybe we could find something better. Seltzer would go insane now. You're not joking. Now we lock in. You're in the right spot. You're in the right place. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Hmm, a three. Now I want to... I want to glass this guy. Right? <laughs> and then go, then go for the last hand. It'll lose bonus. Yeah, but then it'll get times 1.5 times 2 times 1.5 times 2 times 1.5 times 2 times 1.5 times 2. Glass the 4 instead. All right. It does get triggered twice. More, more polychrome threes, please. My God. Seems really good. One guy, one guy. Find that. Oh, I didn't move it to Acrobat, bro. No. And it's not even my last hand. 300 million? 300 million? <laughs> oh, no. It's only 138 million, bro. You got me all shook up. Okay, hang on. You're, we can't discard you. Well, that's... Okay, okay. Hold this. Play, play. Brother, we need to play a flush. Bring it back to baseball. Smart, smart play. What are the odds of us drawing? Not good. <laughs> 
Always on baseball? Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Oh, well, then this was in the right spot. We just shouldn't have done it on the first hand. Listen, buddy. I think you got to play five of clubs. If we play a flush, it'll give us a lot of points, but we might not draw another flush, and then we have to play high card on a times three. You got to just dump your five. You could dump a five, and you could dump this ace. Although the ace, you could dump this nine, and then you're getting chips and molt off these, and then you could draw, it gives you a better chance to get another polychrome three without using a steel card. That's not a flush. I don't want to play a flush house, bro. I want a damn liter of cola. <laughs> you want flush, not four? I guess because it's high. I got I to gotta play a steal on this. It pains me, but I got I to gotta play a steal. It's the only way. Should still get us there. Move it to Acrobat. They've forgotten. Now, there is... So how many triggers are we getting off this? One, two, three. If we move it to here to hack, we'll get three times 1.5. And we'll get the extra chips. And we'll get the extra money. Not that the money matters. It's actually the right... It's the right play. It... it and we've done the numbers. We haven't just typed it in all caps. We figured it out. It's a new era, lads. Okay. Simply put... Simply put, we need to spend all our money. And I think the secret, for sure, we need a Jupiter card in hand. More glass isn't necessarily bad. I, this is pretty horrible. Um, we need a Jupiter card in hand. That, we have to use it, unfortunately, but it's still nice. And we, I think... It's, it's tough because I'm like, we can replace the steel joker and get better than times 2.25. But we're holding steel cards regardless. It would have to be the joker of all time, though. That is not the joker of all time. These are not the jokers of all time. A Jupiter we can hold in our hand. Very nice. Not a Pluto. I gotta feel like a, a re-trigger is not what we're going for. <clears throat> I can do this all day. It won't be credit card. It won't be half Joker. It won't be Mercury. I feel like the only thing that matters is... Is Jupiter. Even if, uh, Jupiter or Seltzer. You're right. Seltzer would go crazy. It's okay to spend all of your money on this. Because we won't... We, we, we need it to get through 12 trillion or whatever we need anyway. Campfire too? Maybe. Maybe. I don't think ramen is good enough. Ramen versus taro? Okay. Times two molts. Plus, plus 10 times two. Plus 106 times 1.5. Now, that's not, I'm not being a, a, an asshole here. 
Our mult is getting multiplied so much that the extra 0.5 might matter, but I don't think it does. <laughs> also, I think this is the only thing giving us base mult. I think that would kill us instantly. The moon. These rerolls are getting mighty expensive, bro. Now... <clears throat> I think this is a no, because it's 20 molt on the average flush, and it's polychrome, but steel is already better than polychrome by itself. It's a no. It's a no. These are no's. It's a, it's a we gotta try for it. We want, so this is a sell, sell, high priestess into a Jupiter card in hand. My God. <laughs> buy, buy, buy. Don't buy and use. Buy. We go next. I'm scared, but... <laughs> we, 450 million? Okay. You might as well. The question is, do we have to wait for the final hand? Or do we just, do we play three hands? It's, it's a tough choice, man. It would be nice to play like two half decent hands first. It's tough though. And I, like saving hack cards for sure. That's, that's a given. I guess we could just play two high. Well, listen, listen, kids. You might want the lucky Andrew. Discard me. More, more threes and also more polychromes. So th the problem is we can't play five threes because it'll be a flush five and it'll ruin my life. Unless maybe they're all polychrome, in which case it makes up for it. So we need to play, we need to keep some other cards to play. <laughs> we probably want you and dump you. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe, oh, but I don't wanna play my ace, bro. I don't wanna play my ace. keep it but then i'm playing i'm playing dookie butter <laughs> am i really gonna get out of my face you're a wild card okay then we can play this yeah 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 and you're in the right spot we move you to hack later so whatever this is is just gravy that's 9 million points of gravy. I am realizing now that 9 points is meaningless. 9 million points, I should say. We would be better off just creating the perfect hand for Acrobat. It's going to be you. It's not you're not going to be invited to the party. Okay? So it's going to be First, we're gonna play some some straight trash. We can play three, 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 and the ace and the spades, because you're bonus cards already. We get three, 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 the ace and the six, which means we can dump the eight. <laughs> lock, lock in, bro. Lock in, and keep. You're gonna stay here for now, and then we're gonna move you to hack afterwards. Any percent chipless. Okay. We can we're gonna play you and you. Because we can't play four or five threes. Right now, we would play two, because it'll get double triggered. Which means we're gonna be playing ace for the chips. Steel. 333 three, three, polychrome and this two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, play it. Mm -mm. 
Hack will trigger before the molt, so it's worse. We got another steel card, that's nice. So this is something we need to fucking figure out, boys. Could we move hack to the end and make it worth it? Or is that not the... Explain it to me. Plead your case. What does blueprint need to be attached to? Baseball. 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 Someone even used his full name, Jim Joker. Baseball. 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 Listen, it's not your fault. <laughs> if this is wrong, it's nobody's fault. What's the Jupiter play? We have a voucher where this gives us another times 1.5 if we hold it in our in our hand. Okay, hang on. We got a lot of first time chatters. Baseball gives you 3.375 later. Hack gives you 3.375 earlier. Later is better. That's a good point, because you're adding first. Is it as simple as that? And then these don't add molt. Well, this one does, I guess. Fuck it. <laughs> now, listen. Should driver's license be moved a little earlier because it adds 10 molt as well? In addition to its, to its times three? Okay. All right, send it, brother. And you're right, tarot before hack, so that the the plus 108 then gets multiplied instead of multiplied then added. Okay, I don't know if that, I think it works. Maybe it doesn't work in that order. I don't know. Send it. We're ready to go. Lock it in. That's not how it works. Okay, chatter, feel bad. My God, we got there. <laughs> Nine bucks in my pocket. <laughs> Polychrome times 1.5. I don't think so, boys. I don't think that's going to do it. Um, I think negative Joker. Um... We go next. I don't know. <laughs> Playing a flush sets your money to zero. All right. In hindsight, I wish I had rolled. Um, but I guess money is not that relevant for us anymore. So let's think about this logically. You're all getting discarded. You're getting held. You're getting discarded. Use your brain on this one. The glass, it needs to be a, a spade glass for, for it to be relevant. Two, three, five is worth holding. We got enough discards. You dump the nine. It's possible the 10 plus 20 molt in a pinch could be better than nothing. You're useless, useless, useless. One last discard. I mean, brother, we need to go all in on this. Okay, three polychrome threes is where we wanna be. You go. You go, you go, and you go. I don't think we're going to get there, but there is a chance. Not a flush. It's not relevant right now. Don't, don't concern yourself with this. We, need, we can only keep three threes in it. We got another steel card. That's crazy mode. Okay. More steals, please. Two more hands. Another steal. I'm just playing an ace. <laughs> I salute you. 
I salute you. This is our only chance. I don't think it has a chance, but this is our only chance. Send it. Three steals, a, basically a steal in here. <laughs> yes! It's simple. We need one more. Well, actually, this is crazy. <laughs> we need one more Jupiter, bro. Roll for the Jupiter. That's Neptune! Emperor? I'm not using a... <laughs> I'm not using a Jupiter. So buy the Emperor... Give me whatever you give me. Here a font. Okay, probably not what we want. Sun. Lovers. We're spending our money. Saturn. Sa is this a joke to you? Saturn? We go next. So we need 47 billion. That's going to be tough. That's not going to be easy. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> That's not going to be easy. Enjoy that. Um, dump it, dump it, dump it. Keep it, keep it, keep it for now. Dump it, dump it. Okay, now that we have three polychromes. Dump it. Keep it. Dump it. Dump it, dump it. Dump it. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Dump it. Another steal has arrived. Okay, lock lock in, lads. Play it. Play it. <laughs> we're, we're cooked, man. <laughs> 47 billion is not happening. That's just that's just not realistic. But it's it's been a great run. Another steel card dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil. This could still set a new personal best in the tournament, though, assuming they're still counting score here. So we have to leave the polychrome three out, bro. I know it's uh, it, it seems crazy, but this is the way. Send it. I really expected to see the flames coming out. <laughs> we did get a 710 million point hand, though. That is pretty solid. New PB? Yeah, like by, I don't know, by like a factor of 50 or something. It was a good run. We made it to Anti-13 for the first time ever. Hey, Librarian, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. I call that End of Bellatro. That was good, though. Holy cow, we went off. What's going on? Why am I the only person in their, in their own Discord call? Don't I get a send-off? Let me see if Kate is ready to stream. Hello. Are you ready to stream? Sorry, I'm late. The Balatro thing ran long. Smiley face. Sitting alone in the VIP. Yeah, well done. Well thank done. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a, a nice second place. Uh, what third overall? I think just a mere seven hundred and eight million points. Perhaps more sodium polychrome threes with a blueprint hack next time, mother. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna say anything, but skipping campfire. Nah, bro, it's that ass. That hurt, mm, brother. You had two hundred dollars and discounts. That's you can't even buy groceries with that in two thousand and twenty-four. You could have probably guaranteed close to ten to fifteen multi per blind. Mm, 
some of us don't like to play on easy mode. Some of us like to, ch <laughs> to challenge ourselves, okay? Hey, you know, a new high score, and you're in for Thursday. Yes! We have our Thursday sets. Um, I didn't know. I, I thought it was only top two. I made it. You did make it. It is top two. Oh, top, top two, two from, each. Yes! from each. Yes! Yes, from each. Oh. You didn't uh, even know he's in. I don't know the details. I told you like seven times. I told you all. Yeah, but times. then everyone was talking about other stuff in the Discord. You know how it is. You got to be really uh -huh. committed to scroll. That's fair. I, you know, I respect that. Oh, good We're event, Apollo. Apollo. Good, here. good yeah. event, Hello. guys. Hello. Good event. That was fun. Corey, was well nice. met. Well met. It was crazy, dude. <laughs> Enrico Fermi ass fucking <laughs> Niels Bohr build. Your run went crazy too at the end there. Yeah, you started popping mm -hmm. off. It did, it did, it did. Well, we'll yeah, see thanks, the Apollo. three of you and, uh, and Mouth on see you Thursday. See Thursday, fuckers. Later. Cool. It's bye this bye. week? Yep, this week. <laughs> oh, Thursday. shit, okay, all right. All right. Get ready, cool. dude. All right. Good stuff. Wait, so that means, uh, wait, so Bear made it too? That means Dan got kicked out for Thursday? Is that the correct? Uh, Assertation. I'm. I can't believe I made it out the damn mud, bro. I didn't think there was any chance. <laughs> I thought it was the winner of each goes on to a one-on-one, -on -one, but a four, uh, a four-piece. Okay. By the way, uh, obviously, you know, we got to salute the chatters who uh, lost their privileges over the course of the stream. But those of you who, uh, you know, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. We could, would not have gotten 708 million points were it not for the support of chat. Thank you for that. And thank you. It's me, Brian. Did you unlock anything new? I might have because I got an achievement for getting, I think, 100 million points. The heck is this, Duke Kaboom? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Later!